And Aeon Fish is back, episode 13. Uh, before we get into tonight's guest, a massive shout out to Div McGowan at McGowan's Fitness, who is sponsoring tonight's episode. Div and his good lady, Christina, went and done a bit of fundraising um, for ourselves and to get a bit of awareness out there for mental health in general. Um, I think I've done a bungee jump. Fuck doing that. Um, <laughs> It was a sponsored wedgie you done. A sponsored wedgie. <laughs> but um, no, a massive shout out to Div. The stuff he's doing in the community right now is unbelievable. It's a, that is a community gym, there's no two ways about it. Everybody gets mucked in and thanks to everybody that piped up and, and put into the, the fundraiser as well. So a massive shout out to Div and Christina for doing their jump. So tonight's guest doesn't need too much of an introduction. If it does, if you need an introduction to tonight's guest and you've been living under a rock like Stevie and the rest of these Rangers supporting pals oh, recently. There. So there, tonight's right? guest, D Maxwell, how you doing? Does that mean that Stevie didn't know who I was? <laughs> he, just lives, <laughs> he just lives under a rock with the rest of these Rangers supporting pals. Right. You, you can actually just answer. leave if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supporting Rangers, I wouldn't admit that right now. <laughs> I am always outnumbered by all you bastards, man. I'm not Celtic or Rangers. I was Rangers for years and then I decided I didn't like losing, so I stopped supporting them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they died anyway, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, we can't get into that. Don't even get into that. We're not getting into that. How's life, Steve? How's things? A lot better. A lot better than they used to be. So It's mental health and all that you were talking about, isn't it? Aye. Aye. Having a laugh at the same time, you know what but I doing really well. Um, I've got fifteen theatres booked next year for men, menopause, and Mars bars. My favourite subjects. Amazing. Well, menopause isn't really my favourite subject. <laughs> I just like talking about it to be relatable to some folk. But men was my favourite subject. But I'm absent after them and all because I used to snort them as much as I did other things. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, stopped snort, I've stopped snorting men, uh, and Mars bars are just still inhale them. That's how. So apart from the weight, I'm doing all right, you know what I mean? I'm doing all right, things are really good. Good, good. So comedy scene, that's, that's a hundred mile an hour, isn't it? I've Aye. seen that, this is just coming thick and fast now, so for COVID to now, it's kind of non-stop, isn't it? Aye, well, it was more like Crime Watch back when COVID was on. <laughs> you know what I mean? When COVID was there, it wasn't really comedy. It was like, oh, one step away from a break then. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, it has got a lot better. The comedy scene's starting to thrive and it's getting really good. Stuff. I mean, I think right. he's, you've had some of like Gary in that one as right. well, you know what I mean? So, um, I've known Gary, I did my first gig with Gary, and he, the first thing he said to me is like, yes, you'll take the heat off me. And I went, how he says, because you're good, you're going to get slaughtered. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't understand what that meant, and then I go to the stage, because it's sometimes can be a quite jealous platform. You know what I mean? Aye. If you do really well, you can get put out in the cold. It's You know what I mean? So sometimes, but no so much now, now that I've kind of went up that rung a bit, so mm -hmm. now folk like to hang about me because I can get theatres booked and mm -hmm. all that now. So as it's doing really well, and it's, um, I've always been funny anyway, and I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet. I just mm -hmm. naturally done it for, I think because all my best mates when I was young, I didn't want to go hang about with folk that did Aye. makeup and dancing and all that. I wanted to hang about with boys that wanted to set fire at the local school and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I always hung about with boys, you know what I mean? So, and you were all, you know yourself, back in the day, now you'd probably get to jail, mm -hmm. but we all slaughtered each other and it was called fun. Aye, you yeah. know what I mean? So right. that's where I got it for and I don't really get, like Jordan made a joke earlier on about going to roast us. I was thinking, <laughs> absolutely no chance you're going to be able to take me in bad or not. I mean, but you can try if you like. No, in this current state anyway. No, but... de no, it's nothing to do with the knee. It's nothing Aye, to do with the knee. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan's back, by the way, just for everybody that's, that cares. I've got a, a few things to clear up. Right, I didn't cool, shite myself last I, week. You yeah, did. you did. And, <laughs> no, because I was watching you. I was watching it, but you've done with Cherry West and, that, and I had a wee story I wanted to tell about it. About <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was about my kind of my hang we went across the dress, and, and I remember when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> So I remember when I was five and my mum came in and for some reason, whatever my wisdom, I put one of her dresses on. <laughs> How many size is your mum? Oh, it was petite at the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was five, remember? Five, it was, was five, it's not like now. So I had a put a dress on there, she came in for work and spotted me in this dress. She chucked me out of the house and locked the door behind me and that was my only thing, that was my only venture into cross dressing. Was that in Kilmer Home? No, in Inverkip, it was worse. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I think I've dabbled a wee bit of fake tan that, know when you're turning 10 or whatever, you go put a wee bit of fake tan on. What? Apart from that. <laughs> when I was 10, I wasn't fucking thinking about fake tan. I was sniffing it. You were sniffing fake tan. Uh, what else is it you want to clean right, up? So that's that, so I just wanted to get that story out. The other thing is, I've went in for a wee procedure on the knee. I'm raging. 
obviously it's the knee. I've come out with a chip tooth <laughs> and a grazed <laughs> cheek. Mate, I've not farted. You've, I've you've, not farted since the surgery. You went under, and they have just been taking turns at teabagging you, man. And look, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, I've come out. And my knee's got a better fringe in my head. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I've shaved it. Oh, that's excellent. He's not even got a fringe, mate. <laughs> I mean. So, my life's pretty fucking shit now. Aye, cool. <laughs> just just for him and my Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that. So I, I, I first came across UD on TikTok. Oh my TikTok, God. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> that seems to be the thing now, doesn't it? That's TikTok. Not for me, man. I stay away from it, man. I stay away from it as much as possible. I do videos and the odd thing, but I don't go on it live or anything. Do you know I think it's a good platform to get... Everybody, every comedian we spoke to have, it's have good for marking it. it's good for marking for algorithms and all that but I always tell the rest of my pals especially when they're new on it I was like don't go on live <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolute career Aye. suicide do not go on live mm-hmm. you know what I mean but it is good I had I was at a bad time when it was all kind of thing I started going live and started nearly fighting with folk and all Aye. that so it wasn't good for me but it is now I put something on it and it, it, the algorithm goes right out yeah. goes out the tap but maybe it's just because I've made so much money with Facebook and Facebook still got a decent algorithm if you keep it family friendly. It's tried and tested, isn't it? Aye, Better plus the fact I don't use any of my, my proper stuff. My gigs are busier because I don't do any of my no. comedy online. Mm. So when they come to a gig, they rave about it and yeah. it's still the old school yeah. where I need to go and see her to actually get any yeah, of her comedy. Yeah. I'll do wee snippets, but it's nothing like my stage stuff because I'd get banned if I did my stage yeah. stuff online. <laughs> but I TikTok, <laughs> I, it was just a bad time for me. I'd split up with my ex at the time. I was going right down hill then as well. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd relapse. I've, I've made my recovery public anyway, mm-hmm. so I'd relapsed. I was smoking. I was doing whatever, and I was in a right bad place. So I didn't have a good experience with TikTok or some of the people. Do you think that's a, a, a place where you can mask What's actually happening? Oh, aye, it's the biggest mm. addiction. I think it's mm. another addiction. TikTok somewhere aye. you can make a life and make false pals, and yeah. and you've got all these mates. But as soon as you switch that button off, that's it. Mm. It's your life Do you behind think that's it. Spiral duty, aye. Going on that. Uh, nah, I don't think anything can spiral you to a aye. relapse. I think at the time I thought that, but once I went into rehab, I was always just an addict. Aye. I was just a ticking time bomb waiting to do it, mm. and I had to have something different in my life so that I didn't do it again. Because any time something goes wrong in my life. I go back to drink, go back to smoke, I go back to something I've always mm-hmm. got. Mm-hmm. They talk about an addiction malady thing, and I always thought it was just a lot of church folk talking, right? And I wasn't getting near them, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, they're all tapped in the nuts, yeah. sitting with their books and praying in the morning. Mm-hmm. But once I actually sat and read the book, which was written in 1935, it was so relatable in different bits, and I just found that I masked everything. I was always dead over the way, and actually, he well, Jordan testified. I was like, I need to talk. I was like, you got in that problem? Well, I'm not gonna. You want to go in front of me? So I'm actually quite uh, shy on the personal uh, level. So I anxious, always say, mm-hmm. "D's the character and the thing yeah. that I'd love doing because it's yeah. all fake." Mm-hmm. But when it comes strips back to Denise, she's a totally different person. I'm quite yeah. shy. No insecure so much now because I've done a lot of work on myself. Mm-hmm. But I was in. So what I didn't have is Denise. I did it in ego as mm-hmm. D. And it wasn't real, yeah. but because it was online, it became real, and it just crashed. And I'd, I had just split up with my ex partner, the Wayne's, the Wayne's dad, mm-hmm. and it was messy. So mm-hmm. it was right down at the home. My career was just gone there. I just booked the O2, the smaller mm-hmm. yeah. end of the O2. Then pandemic had hit, and my whole world had just crashed. And then I had mm-hmm. to move because of reasons that I don't need to get into. But I had to move away. And I moved tunes, my mum and everything, we were in pandemic, and it's just slowly just went like that. Yeah. Mental health was done, I didn't even want to be here. There was a few times that I phoned my sister and asked her if she would look after my wings because Jeez, I just man. didn't want to date anymore. And I could, I kept putting on the front out, like mm. the TikTok, mm. and putting the front out, and, I, and I, being a female comedian is hard work, I'm Aye. not just saying that, yeah. I know they say there isn't any difference, but... You've heard and better have heard my comedy now. Uh, but when you've heard, <laughs> I've heard it. Like, yeah. <laughs> practice right, yeah. it? But, um, but it is controversial, mm-hmm. and a lot of middle-aged yeah. guys uh, don't like it, and a lot of women don't like the way I talk about in the sexual. But they same women mm-hmm. would sit in an Anne Summers party, ah, yeah, or right. they would sit in the toilet with their lasses mm-hmm. and talk like that. And the design behind it for me was. Um, remember what women want? He was old enough yeah. to know what women want, right? Yeah, Mel Gibson. Aye, so he could hear what every woman was thinking. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did my comedy on, because I didn't want to go and be the same woman comedian Aye. as everybody Aye. else. So 
I had such stick, I had trolls, I had stalkers, mm. I had at that time a pandemic and people messaging me hate mail the length of that, do you know what I mean? Still got the fake accounts on TikTok, but I just Aye. blocked them all. Mm -hmm. So it just totally my whole world just crashed in and I just had to admit I was near if I didn't day something, mm -hmm. I was near a breakdown. And then somebody Aye. just reached out to me and I went, I started going to what, addiction meetings and mm -hmm. sorting that side out and going to trauma counselling and to the day I'm doing a lot better, but it was a terrible time. And I probably blame a lot on TikTok, but Aye. in theory, it was a reflection of where I was at. Maybe I would be, now that mm -hmm. I'm on it, I don't even get involved in any stuff and I do my videos and I don't, and the end it comes across derogatory, I just block it Great. and I just put it out, you know what I mean? And yeah. then don't hang with it. Aye. I think that's something I don't like with social media. Like, if you're putting stuff out there, you're trying to bring a wee bit of laughter, you bring out a joy in people's mm -hmm. lives, and then there's people who just don't like it. They just want to jump on it and go, nah, you're this, you're that, you're that, just troll Aye. all the time. Why? I just don't get what goes through there. I used to find that they've got a hole in their soul. I used to Aye. think they were just horrible, and don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, there's still cunts out there that are just horrible people. But I think sometimes it's usually somebody similar, a black ground to you, but they've not been able to break the mould. Mm -hmm. They've not been able to put their old life behind them and change their ways. And yeah, right. so they think that I'm fake because how can she change that? How can she do all that now? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I've got to sit and check myself and go, is this the real me? You know what I mean? But I, I played a role my whole life. Mm -hmm. I came for quite a, no hard, but you better watch, I'll get called Don D again, right? But <laughs> I came from quite a hard family, do you know what yeah. I mean? So it was, we were taught to fight for a young age right. and everything was like, and it was all an act for me because I was always dead sensitive, I didn't, but I thought if I, I would rather really get battled, I would rather really fight with them than get battled off my mum, do you know right. what I mean? So I was always acting. So only in recent years I've started to be all right with the fact that I'm quite, I'm quite loving, mm -hmm. I'm quite, a wee bit insecure, I'm not as confident as I make out and mm -hmm. I'm actually all right with that now. It's actually nice to be that mm -hmm. person and mm -hmm. I've actually got the right people in my life now. I'm no playing to a gallery, I'm no going out with a guy that's looking at a life on the jail, you know what I mean? Because yeah, he's right. cool as fuck, you know what I mean? With <clears throat> tattoos and all that. I'm not saying MD with tattoos is looking at the jail. But you know that stereotypical <laughs> bad guy, you know what um, I mean? It's like that that bores the life at me now. I'm like, right, well tell me what you've got to do with your life. Whereas right. before, because I was doing nothing with mine. I had to have that reflective thing in my life, but it's it's all been a good learning curve. But as I said, mental health has been a plague for me since I was about 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've really struggled with it because I've always been pretending I'm somebody else. I think that's the key, especially with social media. Yeah. That's why so many people are struggling with their mental health, especially influencers, because mm -hmm. they go to look, look at me and this tan, and then they're rocking in bed at night trying to Aye. get through another night. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And, and the more successful you are, especially on the internet, the more hate you get. You know, it's a terrible compass to say that I've spoke to even TV stars that will say, listen, why? tell me when you've got a thousand haters. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And I spoke to a guy that, obviously I'm not saying names because they'll call it clout chasing, but I spoke to a guy who was very big TV presenter and all that, and he said that the good thing for us was we would get hate mail so it could be stopped. No. You could just Whereas now it's in your face. It's mm -hmm. like constantly saying you're... Mm -hmm. I mean... They, they talk about your kids not being looked at. They say things they don't Aye. even know about your life. Aye. You know what I mean? So I, it was difficult. But now I just, I do what the rest of them do and go, you don't know nothing about me. Aye. You know, nothing about my life or anything I'm doing on a personal level. So it was dead tough though. See, we've touched on that a few times, haven't we? But it only takes one comment for somebody as you say, it's getting the idea. Mm -hmm. One comment and it can go the wrong way and it can fuck everything up for everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It can ruin lives. Mm -hmm. And as you said, back in the day it was a it was a letter you were mm -hmm. getting, so you'd have just pied that off, no seen it, noticing your face, screaming at you. Mm -hmm. Did you know did I tell you about a guy commenting on money TikTok says one of my ears is bigger than the other one? Right, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, look at me a minute. Uh, is? Is it? <laughs> that one's bigger. That yeah, one's bigger. Honestly, I'm changing your name now, man, Jordan Bagheera. <laughs> Does it not? Don't think so. Mate, I'm like, don't even fucking look at my ears. I need a haircut. I'm fucking big ear myself. I think <laughs> just the more successful you get, they just pick mm. out everything. Aye. I mean, I stopped doing it once I started to get a bit of fame mm -hmm. and nothing can pass because I used to sit with like a Katie Price and all that but her nose is big you know what I mean because that would be the only thing you could say about her because back mm -hmm. in the day she was absolutely gorgeous right. I mean I think she's overdone herself with getting obsessed with work but I can understand why she's got obsessed with work because see when yeah. you're a female in any public industry they I mean I remember I used to make reference to maybe a guy that I'd fancy and the guy would get we would make jokes about it the guy would get a th like 50 males the lasses just want to get with him because they think he's going to get with me mm -hmm. and you just think that's madness oh, yeah, do you know what crazy. I mean 
I used to make jokes with my my comedy comedy um, bo- bros. I go mm. listen, just kid on you. I fancy you. You have a bird within the week. <laughs> it's you know it's obsessive, mean? isn't it? It's, it's like, crazy. It's a, it's actually quite scary that it's the way people act and, and think. It's it's mad. Like this pair, you could be sitting next to somebody in the train. And they'd be like, oh, I was sitting next to D Maxwell, and the next thing they're telling their pals, the next thing they're spreading shit about you. And, oh, I've heard it, I've heard shit. guys message me, and it's boring. I just think it'd be great to have others' attention off guys, because obviously, I'm like, yes, brilliant, pure <laughs> legend, you know what I mean? <laughs> think like a guy, I'm like, it's my boy pals, like, how many birds are you going? Well, I've got 10 guys in my inbox, you know what I mean? But it's actually put, it put me right off. Right. I've been single for nearly a year now, uh, well, four years in total, but the first three years I was wanting a boy, and now mm. I'm just like, ah, See, because yeah. they're, and I'm not even trying to be vain, it's like, there's like top models, like they're coming up to be a model, right? Mm. And I'm a realist, right? I'm mm. like, no bother, mate, you know what I mean? You're, <laughs> still, you're standing there like the, what, Kim Kardashian's half-brother, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm Lewis Capaldi for the fucking comedy world, I no bother, you want a date, stop talking pish. You know what I mean? I end up just messaging them back, going like, listen, I couldn't get you a model on contract anyway, pal, I'm not that level yet, you know what I mean? <laughs> I but honestly, but that's what it's like, you know what I mean? Because I mean, I'm not saying I'm ugly, but this guy is like something out of vogue, you know what I mean? He's sitting there with better eyebrows than me, but make sure I'm going to hang about with you. You know what I mean? I feel insecure as it is without kicking about with you with your fucking ass cheeks like that. See, see when you were at your lowest though, did you did you find that the the trolls and the hate was Oh, they ranked it up. Because they knew you were in ah, a bad they, place. They, they get a buzz. They're actually me and a couple of my pals, I mean, I don't even, they think I do, I maybe hear the odd snippet now, but I block mm-hmm. everything because I've got like two main accounts mm-hmm. that they're not even fake, they've not even got their face on it, you don't right. even know who they are. Yeah, I... Made up names, one of them does go on live and one of them just does constant videos of my lives, like records wee bits and puts captions in, mm-hmm. so much so folk think it's my page. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I don't even, I, don't, I used to get upset about it and get angry and try to find out who they were and ask them what their problem is, but I just think, they rank it up, and me and my mate actually call them murderers, because mm. potentially that is what they are. I, I mean, all joking aside, if mm. I wasn't as strong as what I am, what they've put me through, what they've said about my wains, my wife, and everything, it's not true. And anything that has been, it's been like an exaggeration of the truth, you know what I mean? So much so. If I'd taken any of that on board, my wains could have been left without a mum. Mm. That's the reality, and that's true. And they get annoyed when I say it because they say, "Oh, it's just a bit of banter, and it's all, it's not real, and it's not that's real to you." You're stalking mm. about, it's man, horrible. Just constantly right. on your page, constantly taking Aye, your stuff. Even, right. even when I was then, working for a short time, they even mailed the place I was working. Imagine having her working for you and all that Jesus just because Christ. you've had that's problems with them on TikTok. Stalkery, man. I, but I don't even, I think, you know, even though like some of the lassies that have been TV, they've had it at a different level, but they said that that's a different <coughs> level, that TikTok's a completely different level, and yeah. that's how, when folk ask me advice for it, my idea like, videos all day long, but don't go live on it. No. Do you know what I mean? Don't connect, because that's when you're going to get all these, and it's 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 got to be jealousy or no right in the heat. I'm yeah, not sure which one it is. Both, probably. Because it's like, so why would you sit and watch mother, somebody you hate that fucking, much? She gets taken out of the job, doesn't she? Because somebody was coming to get her, somebody was coming to Aye. kidnap her and kill her. Aye. Aye. So the police have fucking took her away, mm-hmm. man, to protect her. Is it not like a 25 stone guy, but or something? Oh, fuck knows, but it's not. his name's no Sean, before you start that. That is that. So I talk to people that are bigger than me that actually own TV, and because mm-hmm. I've got, because I've went to. A drama. I did my my HND, mm-hmm. my a higher national diploma in acting and performance. So some people have been on the TV side, of it and they've got that, they've had the security and all that just because yeah, they want to be an actor. I'm just mm-hmm. and sometimes I think do I want this life, but the hang it's is, the same I love principle, it. though. It's, like what's happening to you? What's happening to them? It's happening to you, but just on a, a different kind of level. It's really. a different level. Mm-hmm. It's, and the but thing that is, that stuff goes under the radar, whereas hers is very public. Aye. But the stuff with you goes under the radar, and if you say that, you black. Calm down. I will. When I say it, they think, oh, yeah, she's triggered. Aye. We're getting to her. Mm. Well, I mean, they they get so much joy out of me yeah. sitting greeting. Aye. But I used to did get upset because I was that angry because I just wanted to punch their heads off, if mm-hmm. I'm totally honest, you know yeah. what I mean? But I just think you don't, and when you're attacking the wains and stuff like that, and there was a period where they said something about my animals that was totally inaccurate, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? And I had a welfare check, which mm-hmm. I'd never had in my life before. I've had one, had one, and they came out and goes, put my hair to see, and I went, you tell me. Yeah. So they're wasting public resources, because they date all the time, it's mm-hmm. not just for me, I had it once, but 
There's constantly welfare checks on people that don't need them mm -hmm. just because they don't like them. There's folk out for SSPC, and that's a charity based thing. Yeah. So that's charity money going to waste for people because yeah. they don't like the person who's checking their dogs. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Thing, but I don't. I just thought, do you know? I don't need it. You know what I mean? The algorithm's all right, but everybody that tries it gets to wear arm, and they think, wow. And if you stick to just the video, especially like comedy mm. or putting clips out, aye. But if you ever go live, it's the biggest mistake you'll mm. make. Because people think that, especially with the character that I played, that it was who I was. Mm -hmm. It was who I was as a teenager, but I'm 41 mm. now. So it's far for who I was and then on. Well, I mean, if I'd slept with that many guys, I'd probably be deep in it. Mm. Know what I mean? Making up that. So it's like, but then they're relatable. But the mm -hmm. troll side of things, the best thing that I've got any advice for is block every avenue. Aye. And see if anybody then tells you about it, block them too. Because I even had to block people that I was associating. Goes, I don't, you keep telling me something that I don't need to know. Aye. You know, it doesn't affect my life and it's and it's new, it doesn't affect my career. Mm -hmm. It didn't affect my job either, because my job just went, well, we know you, you're, a, you're great at your job. Mm -hmm. and But I felt kind of responsible for my work at the time because it was a hotel and they were, they were saying stuff. And it's and, eyes on you now, you think and, everybody's watching you. I'm thinking, and then they were folk were prank calling the place and all that because mm -hmm. I worked there. I mean, that's no fair in them. Do you know what I mean? So that's when I hit rock bottom. That's mm -hmm. when I totally just died. But I had to get there to get here, so I don't, I don't, I thank them right. because mm. my career couldn't be any better. I've just been in three films. I'm just about to finish my book. You know what I mean? I've been writing it for about seven years. I had to go back through it all because I wrote it very pessimistically and the blame and the victim status, whereas I realised it's made a survival on it. Yeah. So I've done that now and I've I've learnt a lot for it. No, that's class. You know that's what I mean? Really but I'm glad one. I was strong. Yeah. Because they, 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 they level our trolls, especially in that mm. app and the way they go for people. And yeah. I even see people that are sitting there sniffing like mad, if you know what I mean, but bringing down somebody that takes a different type of it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, you're, you're doing it every day and I you're know. doing the exact Aye. same thing. But yet they're a bam pop because they're mm -hmm. doing something different yep. and totally ruining folks. Like taking them, They're already broken if they're doing that, right? So you're breaking them even more by saying what they did at the weekend and who they did it with and mm. thinking like the world needs to know. So mm -hmm. I, it's, it, it potentially a couple of me and the, uh, my comedian pal says they're murderers, that's what they mm -hmm. are, because they have killed people before. Maybe not the ones that are doing it to me, yeah, yeah. but there's people died because of trolls. Aye. Do you Aye. know Aye. what I mean? Aye. 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 People Aye. should be held responsible for that nowadays, because no. it's, it's pretty facile. I think I they mean, are no, It goes at... under the radar, like if it goes Aye. to what I was saying about Holly, Holly Willoughby, that is very public. That guy's been jailed, he's been taken away, mm -hmm. but this stuff goes under the radar, so nobody gets held responsible mm -hmm. for anything that's, that's going on. It's, well, like it's just going to keep happening and keep happening and keep happening when they, when somebody subsequently takes their life. And then they'll be the very shame. ones that raise something. right back to the next I, they're person. The, yeah. They're the very ones that then go on and then they'll hashtag mental health and then they'll do a big aye. fundraiser. Aye. And aye. They're the very ones that you'll know, no, it's mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But they're the very ones that will do a fundraiser and they'll do all this stuff and then they'll be like, Ken, oh, I didn't like them, but I, mm -hmm. they didn't need to do that. And, Ken, and then they'll say things like, well, if online affects your mental health, you shouldn't mm -hmm. be on it. Well, you, it's clearly affected you because look at yeah. the way you behave mm -hmm. and the way you treat people and you but think that, it's funny that to do that. comment there or not, online affects your mental health, so you shouldn't be on it, but it's a, it's a living. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. your a tool. That, that's your job, mm -hmm. effectively, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That is your job. I mean, so then you call you a beggar. Then they'll say you're a beggar because you're making see, money there's, online. There's, do you want to, it doesn't matter. Do you want to know how good the algorithm works on TikTok as well? Like, I'm... I'm a... I was going to say a terrorist story. Wait, you, you, you've, you've fed age. us with some facts tonight, and they've no been well, Here's a fact. Lies. They've no been accurate. This no, better they have not. This is, no, this is better accurate. Be better right, so the sausage. algorithm era I was scrolling through yesterday, obviously I was maybe under the influence of uh, strong painkillers. For a, obviously for knee, not for recreational. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and er, obviously I'm still with Gemma, so I've, next thing I've bought an advent calendar. In the middle of but it's well, have you told Gemma you've, you've bought us an event calendar? No, but that's all about it. Well, that's I've, I've just ruined our surprise, man. I know, by the time this comes out, so you're going to tell Saturday, her, you're going to tell her tomorrow. I'll tell her, she's made an asset, aren't you? <laughs> 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 50 quid on an advent calendar. Aye, Shut up. Things. Aye. Have you? I'm aye. sorry, Gemma, I've just grasped the actual aye, calendar right aye. in. You know what I mean? It's how a how belter, but how the fuck did I end up buying that? Because you're full of tramadol. No, I do. Aye, you <laughs> see, I know. That's that's it. Well, when, when do you, when, what you've two months away to Christmas? Two months away for Christmas, so. Aye, but it's not a type of perishable one. It's a it's a proper belter. Aye, like this. Aye, sure they sent me it. It's a proper it's belter. On the twenty fifth, there's a ring in there, Gemma. 
Uh, he, sent, he sent he sent me and he sent me he sent me a video of a guy trying on woolly checker shirts ah yeah that's another thing on TikTok <laughs> oh, I'm in heated tone TikTok it just ah, came the other day there that's my that's my um, sock boots they're all the rage on there ah, right? sock boots and these are leather look but they're cotton inside so comfortable there you go and these are your winter jumpers for seven ninety nine. or or TikTok shop know what I mean so has it has it Jesse's <laughs> Well, I got See, a you, hashtag tag D Max. You know, we will get you ten percent. <laughs> you did send me, and I was like, I have no idea. What's this TikTok shop? I don't think it was a hype. That's brilliant, man. I will wait until he's what I got today. A neck massager, but it's got a heat hang that in it. I know twenty pound for it, but because I was feeling a wee bit socially anxious, um, the door went and I never went to the door to get it. So I'll get it tomorrow. And what? Well, it came to your door. And the postman uh, <coughs> buzzed the buzzer and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that today. No, they I'll get it tomorrow. Could you not just, just shake a big bag thing? of dicks? No, no, because no, I was fucking, I don't know what I was doing. Well, um, I go, I, I go to the, the, what's that? It's that Terry kind of fluffy kind of bed sheets you get for the winter. Uh, uh, the the teddy bear stuff. Ah, it's uh, teddy bear. Uh, Seventeen ninety nine for a false, false set. No right. way can you sleep. No, I couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah, it's the best. I like. Oh, I like cozy the man stuff. And then it's, I hate that. It's cozy her teddies and all, <sighs> and a blanket. She's got a, a heat. A, not a heated, a weighted blanket. Ah, yeah. See if you put that. Oh, see if you put that early in the couch, man. God, Out like you're that. We use you're them. You're not moving. You're like, Aye, but we use them for me. that. They're brilliant. You just put that on you before your stuff comes. For anxiety. Aye, for anxiety. They're Aye. so good for anxiety. Put it on your head, man. I used to work. <laughs> at, <laughs> I used to work in the artistic centre, and Aye. a few of the, a few of the, because it was young adults we worked mm. with, and a lot of them did have right bad anxiety, Aye. Aye. and they had they called them we called Aye. them trauma blankets, Aye. and they were brilliant for Definitely. them. Do you know what I mean? I used to hide under them for them. <laughs> no, no problem. You were busy the the post to to bring it to the dome. <laughs> you no, 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 heavy. It's not heavy. Ah, aye, it's aye, I'm sure. 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 i that's scared. Aye. It gives me the fear, man. And it was we, yeah. and you, I get a, a tower that's like a multi story drainer mm -hmm. for yeah. your dishes. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, that's when you know you're getting old, isn't it? Aye, when things I'm like so that make you happy. Like, yes, yeah, so my excited. dishes are going to look crack now. Nah, I, I can't wait to get it. I was going to get a new dish set. I was waiting to come down and play it off. There's a choice between an advent calendar and the dish set. I'm not buying like, myself yes. one of the advent calendars. I'll need to rent a boyfriend for Christmas. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll probably buy a couple anyway, you'll be fried. I, you, I, uh, you can get another for a travel last year. I'll give you the one that wants you to go on. I've seen an R one, but an R one looked better. A glossy box one or something. Aye, aye, aye. It's a belter. Is there like a secret here, man? You just did that. Have you used a chat of four hours and you're going to get freebies out of this or something like that? No, I don't do freebies. 10% discounts. I want a freebie. I'm choking for a freebie. I have somebody that was all usual there. You can have it on your podcast. He's already got sponsored. I know, but I want a freebie. I try to get a free. He just wants everything for me. I want a free heart or something like that. I mean, they're should have went Glasgow. You're not in the middle of LA, you know what I mean? Just a free hat, you know I mean? like a free hat. See, I, get, I can get you a free hat. What's it say on it? But eh, uh, it says this is a, this is a big Oh, I've seen that. Right, I was going to Kenny. Talk about Kenny, aye, aye. Kenny. aye. You can aye. get you can an iron brew. Ah, aye, you can have one can of them. No, no, but you I can't want to buy to name him. I want it free bars. <laughs> Or I want like Listen, I've been in the game for nearly this seven years, right? Yeah. And I get free hangs, but I've no had iron brew yet. Right. You're, you're on this your is plums. Him, like, I want something for that free. He's a shop lifter I get a free diet. You could get that. Uh, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm right? a fat. Right, well, I. Only two ways about it. Me, I get, I get paid to lose weight. That's the only time I was able to do it. I get paid to lose weight and I lost seven stone because uh, he gave me a grand for every stone. I would need to give him all the money back. Jesus I can't do it. Oh, I've done it, they bother. I've seen pound man. signs, I've seen pound signs. That's the means I'd ever stuck to a diet. They sent me all the, it was muscle food. Oh, right, right. And they sent me the plan, it was in pandemic. So mm -hmm. all I had was an hour's exercise a day. Mm -hmm. So I used to just go and run for the hour, Brilliant, man. day the diet. Is that all meal prepped or not? Aye, the full thing was done. It just sent it to me every week. Three meals, and then I get paid for every weight I'll Muscle food. I'll get, 
Oh, so they Anne. don't do the same deal anywhere. No. I think they thought the fat folk wouldn't be able to stick it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Everybody then laps around Strathclyde Park. I think he's had to fight the odds, and then I get Gary Falls on it. I don't know how well he did or no. Gary but... mentioned that right enough the last time. Oh, did he? I so I, I was like Gary, and he's like, you called me fat. Why, mate? Right. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, did they tell you at the same time he was sponsored with Muscle Food, but he was sponsored by Greg's? No, but it was that other mob. Oh, it was like Cravens or something. Oh, the ice cream mob, wasn't it? Scoffable, mm-hmm. uh, scoffable mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So we did his health eating, and at the weekend he had five hundred pound to spend on tickets. Aye, aye. <laughs> I remember seeing an advert and Gary came stoking on, on a telly on a unicorn for Scoffable or something. Right, a unicorn in the back, man. I couldn't do a diet. I'm not into it. I, I just... I've tried, man. I just can't. I just like food. It's more of luxury left. I don't, d- d- don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't even smoke cigarettes anymore. So I've got food. Mm. Aye. You know what I mean? So I'm like, don't but, take it. People say that's an addiction and all, but ah, yeah, is, man. I'm highly addicted to it. And I've, I've, I've tried. I've, I've even tried injections now to get half the food. Here I was going to ask you. Aye, is that me? Is that me? Aye, my mate did them. Aye, my mate. Is you no diabetic now? I'm not diabetic, mate. But this is the thing. I think I'm just destined to be chubby. Because life, that's because you're too busy googling what is a lawn sausage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tell me how we get this in See, here. Yeah, yes. Explain Ron, this. Ron's quality snacks, by the way, put a video up the other day, and obviously because he's an older gentleman and he wears a shirt and that, I believe everything he says. Right. Should so we do this? Jimmy Savile wore a yellow shirt. <laughs> 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 you fix it from your own. No, but honestly, see, all joking aside, I remember my mom saying, Do you want to write a wee letter to Jimmy? And I looked at him and I went, No, I don't. And I knew if I looked at him, I'm like, There's something about that guy. I don't know how it's like Kevin Bridges says, If I was to draw a paedophile, you would definitely uh-huh. draw Jimmy's apple. Ah, uh-huh. uh-huh. you would die. I just say something funny, Stephen. What? <laughs> Jordan's knee squelches. <laughs> what has he got done to it anyway? Is it because your eye was on them in the 90s? <laughs> 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 and now you're going to chip to him? No, <laughs> <laughs> right off the bed. This is, uh, this is ridiculous, man. I'm in, reco- I'm in fucking recovery here what for ha- this knee. Tell Dee what happened to your knee. Tell everybody what happened to your knee. Right, yeah, so... You can to tell us No, it was in the army. And I'll tell you the truth. Were you in the army? Thank you, you for yourself. We were landing in Afghanistan <laughs> and I went to, went to jump off a helicopter and fucked it. I mean, I'll tell you the actual truth. He was playing football and he was the wee guy in the park and flared him. That was it. That was it. Were, you in, were you in the army though? Aye. Aye, because I was thought I did I that. I was going to say that. I was going to threes, but he's not. Aye, aye, aye threes. Aye, John was a chef, were you? Front line. John was that far behind as you can see him. (laughs) But a few mate, my mate's still in the Uh, the army. What's he in? Uh, I don't know, he's quite high up though. Jamie Newlands. You're not going to do this, dude. Do you know what I'm going to do this? Massive, the army's massive, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't fucking know this. I've, I've known a lot of soldiers, and most of them have got PTSD, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you know what I mean? Usually, my ex, my ex, one of my exes was a soldier, you know what mm. I mean? And I remember I went over one night unannounced, he was yeah. sitting with his berry on greeting them. Like, that fucking oh, weirdo. Fuck, I didn't wait to him. <laughs> Watching Saving Private Ryan. No, he was sitting there with his kind of squad picture, do you uh, know what I mean? And the fuck, the fuck, I'm uh, like, you all right? I've, I've, He's like, I don't like surprises. I was like, clearly. Like, <laughs> no, I mean. One of the guys I know, I'm not going to name him, right? But do I know him? Aye, name him. Aye. No, don't. No, I'm not naming him. I probably he get was it. Sitting, right? I get it. No, he's an older guy and he was in the army with us and he told me the story that he was watching yeah, no, oh. he wasn't watching. He was actually playing the computer, right? And he, the police came to the door with his son. And his son was getting brought back. He was too old to get taken. Too young to get taken. No, I'm kind of glad you never mentioned so, that. So he's sitting there <laughs> playing Call of Duty. He's got his, his helmet on, his webbing on, his, his boots out. on, nothing else. <laughs> the door goes. He goes up to the door. Naked. <laughs> opens, aye, nothing else. Opens the door. There's two police with his son. He's like, I'm on in. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on in. It's like, oh, never had such a ready mind. Same guy oh. used to go to Mustard Parade in his jammers and just, mate, I was the same guy, isn't it? Uh, it's the same nah. guy, mate. That's my fun inside joke. No, he's, one, he's, he's, the, know, he's the only guy you I know that's had a girlfriend, a fiance, and a wife at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do know. No, honestly, then my other bit, mate, I know he was in, it was Afghanistan and all as well, and then. He used to come and stay my back the weekend, and I was like, "You're not coming to stay here again." And he's like, "How is this? See that getting up at five o'clock in the morning and running, right, running around the house and all that? The fuck is that all about?" No, <laughs> I aye. just can't. I can't date. Sure, That's me. Aye. No, I mean running about doing press ups. No, I'll kick no, fuck I don't you. Do that, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, get back in the bed. No, I mean, and then that fucking tremors during the night, shouting yeah. name, the code names and all that out during the night. And what? Like, you want to fuck it out? No, I mean, it's like, sorry, it just takes me right back. I was, like, I'll take you right back. I'll pick you something on your neck. 
move. <laughs> get get one of them big weighted blankets, man. Honestly, he used right to just right jump up and he's like, he would shout mad shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, you're not there. It's done. You know what I mean? It's finished, mate. Oh. Honestly. Oh, he's that. Then he's one of the folk watching all that in the telly. He's like, I'm about to just phone up. I says, I would you do? Just telephone the gear uniform and you go away out. Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? thought about it. I'd be, honestly, he's fat as it now. I was like, you put urine into the baker's for everybody's fat. <laughs> but oh, a few of my mates are soldiers and some of them, I'm just like, mate, you were only there half a year and you talk as if you were there for 16 regiments. Do you know what I mean? Aye, aye. aye I was in the army. I was like, I was in for six months. He did his training, come home, couldn't handle it. No, I mean, but aye, he was a big part of a soldier. Aye. <laughs> Jumped out of the airplane, man, so that was him. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, that was what happened to me with an E, to be fair. So. <laughs> 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 I hope this wee guy that watches his podcast. Tell you what, you, man. If a wee guy watches his podcast, tell him I'm, I'm going to see him. I, I bet you can, mate. He's already done you once, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, he was lying on the ground, he's like, sure, I, I, think, I think my career's over. I'm like, hang on, mate. We carry you off, you're greeting. How That's your dad, no, no. Just a Sunday league team. <laughs> Aye. Not, no, no, Patrick, Patrick Vizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Britton scouted this when I was younger. Oh, Jerry Britton. <laughs> <laughs> you I was going, for you fucking person. Jack Charlie done that. Yeah. Are you talking shite? No, no, fuck no. It's got to say that. I thought it was why you were talking there, like your Premier League and all that, know what I mean? Uh, see, I had the ability because of the bad knee. <laughs> oh, 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 I'll get a bad knee and I Last year. My pal's wee boy, he's doing brilliant. If you all like football, aye. aye. Ben aye. Doak. Well, Stevie, doesn't he? Aye. Ben Doak, Is that that's your aye. Boy? My, Diane, well, aye, she's my, my mate, one of my best mates is. Our wins are to him, and he's doing amazing, man. But she used to get in everywhere with him. Aye. And she's just a yeah, super supportive mm-hmm. man and everywhere she is, but he's he's dynamite. Aye. He's, he's absolutely Liverpool great. Now, isn't he? Aye, he's Aye. been signed with them you, as well. He's usually doing... when you see like, a, a young boy making it, it's because they've got a good support in them. Aye, them his mum, just Aye. the biggest cheerleader. I mean, Aye, I, I just I, say maybe Billy Gilmore. That's more, my cousin. That's, 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 my, that's my best, one of my best mates, wee cousin. Aye, man. So the two of the boys, because I hate football, right? Aye. See, because when I was younger. Stevie doesn't like it anymore either. Oh, game. Uh, game well, see, I don't remember my story, right? He does, I forgot about it. Right, so there was a place that I used to go that was dancing, right? Um, and we used to dance for people, right? Mm-hmm. So I met a Rangers player there. What uh, type of dancing? Well, <laughs> flamingo, <laughs> right? <Yeah>. So, <laughs> flamingo and salsa, right? right? So I met a player, Rangers player at the time, and he was, and everybody thought he was great, and he was just, he was good at football. Mm-hmm. And he just put me off football for the rest of my life. That's how I stopped sporting Rangers because that's how weird it was. You have fucked off a life or not? <laughs> but that's, that's what cheating and lying does, isn't it? It puts you out of things. So Aye. I don't blame you for not following them anymore, mate. Because you've got a new club you followed. I used base Celtic then. Aye. 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 Stevie follows this new I'm club. I'm going to bite. No, Tell but see, the thing is, see, see the thing is, is Stevie, like, the thing is, see when the Rangers start winning again, when? they'll cry. Oh, when? Have when? you when? ever seen yeah. them when they were losing? But when? I mean, I'm still I'm still Rangers at heart. Right, it will happen, right? Because yeah. oh, see when I get I famous, see when I get really famous, just because of some of my Celtic and Brian, my mate Brian, I know, mm-hmm. just because of some of my Celtic pal fans and the way they go on, I'm going to put money into Sef- I mean Rangers, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm going to put money into them so that they can get decent players you, to scudge you. No, I don't know. I want to watch his cry. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, yeah, I, it's been a long time. Well, it's got for so, I mean, that's... that's- no, I'm not going to lie, I can't wait to see you cry because there's <laughs> nothing, hum- there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> humble about you, man. It's so <laughs> annoying, <laughs> it's so annoying. I get it, sir. See, even when we were, see, even when Rangers were winning, he's, he's cried like bitches back in the day, I, I, man. I, I, he's I, dead, man. My cousin it, it all came out of the end. My cousin pulled the phone at his wall and told me not to speak to him for a week because <laughs> I laughed at him once and he actually pulled his phone out so that nobody could phone him. When was this? Cause Certainly, cause I'm sure the last time Rangers were winning. It was a stuff. Good Couple no, of years, uh, I think I was 17. Part no, I mean, I'm, fake, I'm, thing. Everything else was, no, was, was name mobiles about, was it? No, it was 17. I was about 17 the last time I wore a Rangers <laughs> tap, so it must have been about 20 odd years ago, but I still remember he's crying. And my uncle used to like, don't even phone me. 
No, I mean, he's an Australian <laughs> and he'll still send me messages going, what happened to your team? I'm like, I don't follow them anymore. <laughs> I'm 42, the last time I watched a game, I was 21. I'm pretty confident that it's never going to come back. I'm pretty me. confident. If I make a lot of money, oh, here oh. to here first, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to give them money. Uh, I'm going to give them is. money so that they can beat you. Best thing is we've got it on tape. That's all right. Come back no. and beat Listen, you Stevie was sitting there like, going, like, see, Dee's right to her work. She's just <laughs> gave half a million to them to get stuff Listen, on. I've half a million? I don't know even. I've got a better idea. You make money, right? And what would they is we've already we've obviously spoke about the algorithm that you give me half a million and we'll flip on his advent calendars and we'll make ten million. Well we could do that after we scud Celtic. Are you are you gonna see you're gonna get on that? Ah yeah, advent He's going to make aye, we won't be going to put in the advent calendars because we need to be original. Okay. You ever tied at eight point two? <laughs> Lewis is my pal and he could drink he could drink dirty soap water his drink and I seen his wee face when he turned a drink of that because I watched it and I said ah, it's no it's wrong it's wrong, it, it's wrong. wrong. Was, no listen it's it's rotten mate ah, it's rotten it why do you drink it just to look hard I don't know like because you kid on your figure you but you're actually friend for Kip or something he's the girl with home via look at via Lang Bank all my peers growing up I was hung about in the street corners the older ones that what people would call Jake. He's been a lovely people. Elder Adder. And they used to have bottles of that, and I used to look up to him. And did they? Is, is, is that why you drink it, just for nostalgia? It's went full circle now. Yeah, that's for us. Because yeah. that was probably like my pride days. I had my hairline intact, I had a good knee. Um, How did you not go for hair plants? I'm going next year. I knew you were going to say that. Uh, hey, where, where, where are you going? <laughs> you go get your teeth fixed. Where are you going to Turkey? Because uh, I'm coming with you. I've, I've said but this. for a hairline? You're no, so I'm, 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 Do you think I'm missing this? I, I am not missing him coming back with a big bandage on his head. Ah, it's hilarious, man. Ah, my right, pal come right. back and I just sat and stared at his head. I didn't even speak to him. He's like, why he stopped staring at my head? Like, it's, it's really impossible, mate. You know what I mean? Did he have the door Burke not go and get one? Burke get one, but I think they actually took you. The hair off his arse. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a wiry fringe. <laughs> if, he wanted, if he wanted to clean a frying pan, he'd he take it. Fucking Brillo pad, idiot. Well, my mate's going to go twice. He's just been for the first time. Aye. And they've done it, but when he came back and he could still see all the dots from his head and all that, and everybody else was trying to avoid it, but I'm an, I'm an arsehole. <laughs> so I was just sitting staring at him, and he's like, Why he stop staring at my head? I'm like, That's like asking somebody uh, to just come in with fucking pink hair, not to stay there. You see, he was going, you were going to get a uh, tattoo, don't well, you? Well, this is what you ever heard of a company in Greenock called So Scalp Tattoo? On? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> <I don't laughs> Casey, you haven't noticed, but I, I'm not going bald. No, so but, I don't need to investigate these but things. But So Scalp on Westbrook Hall Street in Greenock, and the guy who runs it <laughs> is lovely. <laughs> Is that so easy for nothing? No, 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 we're just, we're, we just help each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how the tattoo, right? I've seen the tattoo, for uh, instance, right. Stuart Div's got it right, and it just, it's, Div, Div rocks it. How is it going to fit? Is Div's head tattooed? I don't know, it's like something like that. Uh, I mean, it? he is streamlined, mate. It's, uh, he, he looks, looks like, like he's got I mean, he gets it right, mate, because he's so like a rock or something. So does he just like kind of shave it bald? He, he looks, looks like, like a rock. He's, he's like the Scottish Dwayne Johnson, and you've got, he's the, you uh, look he's like a rock. We'll call him the Pebble. I'm glad you didn't say Dolph Lundgren. No, I mean. Oh, oh, him? No, no, him. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jim. Apologise to your friend. Jim, I mean. I apologise to your girlfriend, know you. Right, so, but, uh, yeah, definitely not. No. But Dolph Lundgren, there was a guy I knew called Div and, uh, when I went to college with him, called Dolph College, and his, na his name was Div, and he looked like Dolph Lundgren. Mm -hmm. No, that big jaw thing that Dolph Lundgren's got. Aye, uh, I will break you. I was like, <laughs> fucking please. I, I'll fucking honestly. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren, I don't ever want to think about my agents, see when they uh -huh. come back with that. What was the band they all come oh, back? Aye. 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 Did you just not gutted. meet him in London? Aye, I met him. I, I met him. And I'm so glad I've operated. No, it was uh, him, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham. And we lined up all the, all the rifles, all the, everything all out. And I shook, <laughs> shook Sylvester Stallone's horn and my horn just disappeared. It was like a wee tiny baby horn and his, his <laughs> horn's about that size, man. Is it? It's fucking huge. I was like, Sly, big man. Whoop, gone. Is he got a big dick? What? Is he got a big dick? I didn't get a feel of me. Well, just because you're talking about lineups. Oh, we got to the knuckles. <laughs> like got to the... Big horn's usually a good indication, uh, though. That's fucking... And then, obviously, Dolph Lundgren's massive and... He's, uh, he is just looks as if he's, 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 he's something like he just 
I always loved him. I was just, even when everybody was like, oh, because my mum wouldn't let me out to play after Rocky. That's a true story. Because I used mm. to try and put the heat in the lamppost and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, and I was just about to fight with everybody. Jump the route. <laughs> Same way, what was that one? If he dies, he dies. Ah, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> uh, Teen Wolf, remember uh, that as well? Oh, I, was I, used class, to, I, I used to run up, and my mum and brought the back. There was a van, the neighbour had a van, and the neighbour would come and go, why get her? And I was up suffering down. <laughs> singing one in the end, you know what I mean? My, my, my mum always goes on about that, see Rocky and that fucking Teen Wolf, that was never class, let man. her out. Because I used to sit in the dark, wait to see if I'd turn into a wolf. And I fucking never, I was raging, you know what I mean? So I might turn into a wolf, I've done everything that's said in the film. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm a wee bit young for Teen Wolf, it was Spongebob, not back, Maddie. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, what age are you, 31, are you? 31. 31. Nah, you're a bit younger than me, I'm no. 42. But I, I'm, I'm only 36, I know I look 27 mm. or something, but... St- that post, I remember it. Oh, listen, that post mantle piece disorders. It's a, a 31, what age are you? 36. What age are you? 52. What? 25. Are you fucked? <laughs> 39. Who? 39, so you're the oldest. I knew you were going to I'm not the oldest. No, I was like... <laughs> Then be honest, they are like the oldest at the three. That's aye. bullshit. That's absolute shit. <laughs> I actually thought you were. Every time, I, I actually absolutely thought you were. I thought you were about 37 and you were about 38. No, it's it's because you're immature and you're immature. That's what it gives you. No, what it is, it's because I've not had a haircut. I'm usually fucking shaved right in. Mm. Maybe it's just because you and look a bit more educated. Exactly. Because oh, I'm the only one here with a higher at you, centre. Oh, have you got a higher? He was a prefect as well. I've got a higher than that. He's a fucking guy. See, so you're absolutely. I've got a city and guilds. But you've got city and guilds. And what? And what? Yeah, but you've got standards. Doesn't even count. I don't even know who an engineer. Yeah, do you know, here. I don't know if you've got it, but I got a qualification before for Barton Polis. Oh, but uh, there you go. Right, training during the army, and you get an HND for public services, and all you had to do was run about and throw wooden blocks at Riot Polis for two days. I'd have loved that. It was been amazing. They bought you a Big Mac at the end of the day, two days Where in a row. Where did Strange. I'd have loved that. That's like two of my favourite things. So Barton soldiers Polis. and Polis. <laughs> <laughs> Should I had to stop making the jokes about it? Know what I mean? Because right. I was starting to go into different places where I'm talking to Polis. Know right. I used to say my three types were soldiers, Polis, and criminals. Right. Do you know what I mean? Was, <laughs> I, that's my three type. If I could get a soldier, Polis, criminal, happy days. Know what I mean? You're quite part of the Polis, aren't you? No, it's definitely you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you, go for, you go for dinners, not really. Is, that, is that right? Well, let's have a look at this picture I've got of you. Have you got a picture of you with the polis? Ah, oh, I've got a picture of you with the polis, I'll tell you that. Are you sure? Ah, you see, got a picture of you with the polis. Oh, I don't, man. Get, get it out since you're with me. Just make, take me away out of Phoenix. I don't right. know what he's doing. Is he a Scotland game? I didn't I know it. if it was Wednesday or Wembley. So, well, I was a hand. What is Ryan hanging about with the polis? Oh, it's bad. Oh, it is there, look. Nothing. Nothing. Two of my good mates are coppers. Let me see this first. Oh, you dirty That's Stevie bastard. and his pals. <laughs> <laughs> dirty bastard. <laughs> yeah. dirty, I'm not giving you my point. Dirty, dirty bastard. Yeah, put it up to that one. Oh, right. No, right. you know what? I'm going to get you back. You Your belly singing out of nowhere. Where did you get a belly? It's under my T-shirt. <laughs> Maybe, I don't think this. I love the pose. Ah, either. Oh, yeah. While we're on this phone, stand by for this one, Paul. You'll like this. What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's Jordan Suarez is fighting. Right, watch oh. this. Yeah. <laughs> you, you all right? <laughs> Ah, we're off I don't know if red. you're trying to check your cleavage <laughs> after here at the same time. Yeah, where listen, are we? Where are we? Where are listen, we? we're trying to we're trying to create a fucking loyal know. fan base, and all you're right. scaring them all with that. <laughs> you, they will be scared. They'll no be scared. They'll be hanging on me, bother punching his. He didn't no, ever meet him. I just I, mean. I just want every guy for to know that he's in a safe circle, and I'm not a danger to enemies. Oh, well, that's clear. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. I don't know if you were making your dinner, brushing your hair there, or, you know what I mean, what you were actually doing there. Well, I mean, obviously, Gemma likes the sensitive side of you, because it's certainly with the masculine side of you, you know what I mean? Oh, man. You were talking about the man to Betty there, you know what I mean? <laughs> That side does a hell of a I was going to say that. It's either that, you've got a chip of dust in the back of your back, you know what I mean? <laughs> That was scary. Oh, oh, no, no, it was. I on a train. It was like every, that, was that there people was quite, there? Aye, they were. Aye. They didn't know what to say. They didn't really know. Scattered man. They didn't really know what to say. They, aye, they probably on. thought he was having some sort of breakdown. <laughs> 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 and he did keep going like that as if he had a cleavage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think he was trying to put his jokes up, but it was kind of like this. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Like Fred Flintstone on Ripley. <laughs> 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 
Um, I was just. Oh. I, can so I, I thought you were pretty cool, man. So you can never tell by voice notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm odd, but I'm fucking. I've got he don't. Oh, I've got a knee injury and I've got a, I've got a beer in me. A, be, I mean? a beer and a, a knee injury, man. It's fucking. It's like, do you just drink that to look hard? I mean, because probably obviously the addict in me. I'm, I, I'd have never still been sat at me at that level. It'd been well tanned, been there. I, I, I don't think he actually likes it. I hate it. It just gets you drunk. Quick, Why do you drink it I'm, then, you weirdo? I'm working a sponsor off him. Like I'm, ah, I'm being persistent. Going work. You're going to get a sponsor off a beer that you don't like. I do like it. It's the best you've ever drank. It's like see if he gets a freebie for me. I'm, I'm chucking it. <sighs> He's a fucking addict, man. I don't want a freebie. Monster. They're not going to give you nothing, mate. <laughs> no. Monsters definitely not giving you. I don't even think. Do you ever watch the other part? I know I should be promoting pro- pro- another podcast, but weathered podcast. Ah, ah that's class, man. Aye. 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 That's outstanding. Aye, they're brilliant, man. Big Paul Craig, an absolute animal. I know, but he's uh, he was my big icon. He was yeah. my new Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> and then he started talking about how he'd, he'd, but he'd, I watched the recent one and I just went right after him. Because he can't book a hotel. How? You get always puts him in the rang week and all that. Does His missus must want to punch his head off. That's why you should never make People your icons real. He looks, he's, he's been compared to Bungard before. Ah, uh, you do look a bit like Chris Bungard, so. aye. Obviously Bungard. But Mate, Bungard, are you just you seen after seeing my you fight? You and Bungard fight? <laughs> Please, man. Please. <laughs> Bongard would probably deck it in that and oh, treat you a few moves oh, before please, you fought him. Right here. Call him out, you do please. look a bit like when I met you, up, when you walked up, just like, because I'm pals with Chris, mm-hmm. I've known Chris for a few years. Call him out. Uh, call him out now. I can't see if he was Rangers, <laughs> no bother. He's Celtic. I couldn't fight one of mine. Call him out. Dear, call man. him out. I please. Punch it, he punched oh, it. I know he landed. I know he landed. He punched it. No, listen, me and Gemma's just getting a formative stages now. I don't mind being him looking like an elephant, man. So You stay in your line. Chris and stay yeah, you may as well tell everybody about you and Gemma because you weren't here last yeah, last one so people wouldn't an update you and Gemma you are in love again ain't you well you're in love ah I know she oh, oh she's not in love no not we were we were Jordan, Jordan's is in love but he'll not say he's in love we know he's in love I'll I'll um, so are you in love it's oh, a it's nice fucking... safe circle here are you is in it? love no no take the counter that no are you in love oh I'm fucking head over heels man good that's nice. Um, see, see Look at how ready he's like. Ah, he's like, we guys, like, don't tell my mum. Uh, <laughs> Paul, knows, Paul knows the truth because Paul's been here for everyone, and Paul knows that you're in love. That's no. what I think. Uh, I was going to say no, but I, I've, I've, if I've you stopped. Say no, that's really no, no good. Listen, that's good at, yeah. I've stopped fighting it now. I'm just letting the current take me down, man. And whatever happens, it happens. And I hope drowning that, that drowning love that in fucking that love this juice journey. And, and, the, and hopefully, this advent calendar can add to it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be here every morning and see her smile opening each door I don't care if it's Carmex or fake eyelashes but I want to be here fucking hell man so now we know what's behind the windies no you've just grasped everything Carmex that, no uh, I mean. yeah, what? Carmex you need to buy another what, one what, 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 ah, the glossy yeah. box man aye the glossy that box is the, that's, the, that's, the, that's a piece of resistance I've seen, I mean? an, seen another one aye I the love, number seven man no they love, they love honey one I don't know why I split it up. I love funny one. How the fuck have we? This is meant to be. It's love funny. Get a calendar. I might be buying myself that then. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) much is that one? 150 quid, but that's ridiculous. By the way, aye, but you might be getting a few free. I'll fucking stick to my fucking wee bits of chocolate. For a pound? <laughs> it's, 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 chocolate. it's the no. best chocolate you'll ever eat in your life. Ah, the cheap chocolate. Ah, it's the best. <laughs> How can you not get a barrier? I'm going to eat some of that. I'm going to eat some of that. Aye, but do you remember, day. I don't know if you are old enough, mm. no, I mean, you might be. But, uh, <laughs> back in the day, we didn't even get chocolate. It's wee wonder with Jesus on it. Ah, yeah. Aye. Aye. You get... <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> a wee we Jesus, a wee Christmas. It was not exciting. But we were dead excited. I remember. In primary school. Oh, my God, tomorrow. See my primary school teacher's watching that Mrs Kane see if she's watching us I'll never forgive you for this she was a sexy idiot huh? <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> every single every single fucking but I, I get the Christmas day one because they wait for her I was pure moaning I was like I want a big one everybody get bits of chocolate it came to Christmas day and I got a, it's Christmas day now Christmas is done I got a fucking thing door. for my Christmas tree a, a fucking bobble wing my Christmas tree not even chocolate <laughs> 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 Not even chocolate, and it was Christmas Day. I'm like, the fucking. Do you remember that? Make? Remember that? What was that? That uh, cat? That that catalogue that pure Rogie? No, <laughs> every day, no, every day 
Oh, what was it called? Studio. Ah, Studio, oh, right? right I and I went and picked this thing out and I says to my mum, I really, really want it, mm. right? And it was like an advent calendar and it had wee drawers in it uh. and you could get wee surprises mm. in it, right? But I didn't need the small print, you didn't get the toys with it. You oh. just get the, There was <laughs> not, and my mum was going bush. She's like, you know, read it. No. And Kim, was she put in it? Fucking jelly tot in each van. Oh. I was raging, man. You know what I mean? I, and the, my wings like, oh, I'll get me a lint man for Christmas at dinner. I says, I get Jesus in these wee, wee manger. You know what I mean? And then you got a double door at Christmas with God and yeah. that and Santa kicking at it. You know what I mean? But I tell you, like, I remember three Christmas or go or something like that. Mind you, you get the massage guns for the muscles, not? Fucking. I've got one of them. I've got one of them. I've got one of them, man. I swear I'm like, right, I'm getting as a. Uh, one a.m. Obviously, I'm starting to go to gym that again. Like, just want to be nice and relaxed. So, I'm on Christmas morning, open up a fucking wand, <laughs> a vibrating wand, and I turn around and I look at it and I go, "What the fuck's that?" <laughs> Dead straight on. So, I look, it says muscle relaxer on it. Hi. And what I don't want to You took it up. It's My up. fucking sister took it up the road. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new upgrade. <laughs> tell your sister, but it's, called, it's called the Pro Suction. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. Oh, it's a game changer. Uh, Alicia, if you're watching this, pin your ears back. <laughs> it's a game changer, man. The wand was the, uh, was the one. Hang. But there's no Pro Suction. And my pal told me it was a game And I think that's what kicked off my sciatic nerves. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I, was, I'm fe- I, that's how I put it in the drawer. I'm, I'm not touching that again. Because it was a game changer, but I think it, went, it was that much a game changer. But through that nerve, System and then kicked right. off the sciatic nerve. You know what I mean? So I that was the end for your back. So what what's that called? Throw suction. Throw suction. <laughs> <He's getting laughs> <it now. laughs> Honestly, yeah. I would get Gemma that for Christmas, but then you might That's, be no being loving uh, be obs- the back door. Obsolete, no, I'm, I'm 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 deeply in love with watching. Oh, you'll be obsolete. He'll be playing with it, man. Pro suction? Aye, <laughs> pro 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 something like that. Pro suction. I'm, I'm getting her no context, I'm just testing her pro suction. Aye, but it's it's a game changer, thirty quid. See, see if we can fit in an advent calendar. I can. <laughs> Good. Good. Especially when we wee draws you can pull out, mate. Ah, somebody, somebody related it to a Dyson, you know what I mean? That's powerful. Aye, uh, three stars. Don't, don't you game and get hoover What my pal said to me was, what my pal said to me was, it was a game changer, it will knock you out, and because I've got health anxiety, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I sat in my drawer for about four weeks, fear to use it in case it did knock me out, because I sniped in my house to save me. You know what I mean? But it didn't, it just kept my sat in there. So it's like, no, but it's kept me single for See, eight months. Well, this is the big taboo. I don't know how, I mean, we're all, it's all open thing being that like women can get suction pro suction and, you can but I but I don't know it just seems as if it's a wee bit more judged in it if we're getting money's fucking drip dry fleshlights that you need to you, you, dry you, you, you stand on your balcony naked and you're worried about people do you no, ah he shouts at people walking by and running and all that <laughs> you've ever seen me you've ever seen that story about when I when I joined the army and I went into fucking Ann Summers for the to buy the ex-wife at no, you? Mate, I would run the back, man. And obviously, all the fucking dildos know that, right? And I'm looking about, and there's no What are you asking for? Uh, you're <laughs> not- <laughs> it's got to get tuned up, oh, you? you're, there, just right? you're just making jokes. Fucking, I was looking about, man. I was looking about, need to be there, so I grabbed one. And I'm looking at one. Measured it up, and I'm like, Ah, nah, too big. <laughs> and I grabbed another one, and I'm going, Ah, that's probably about it. And then, see, when I had this one on my horn, a lassie walked in. I was like, oh, fuck, shat it. I mean, he's a big one. They <laughs> <laughs> got up, bought you know, it. You're not seeing anything new, you can make your own mould. Ah, uh, you're uh, I've seen that, eh? It'd be like a fucking, it'd be like a tag fast, eat a Harry Potter. No, I mean, don't wait out yeah. in case anybody cuts it up for the mushrooms. <laughs> 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 Hopes it with a bit of cheese. But where, I. Where did this go here? I don't know what it was. The meat started it. It was you. You started with the back massager and then it just went for there. Uh, you know what I mean? Went for the soul sucker. But stupid. mental health, we're going back we, to we were, we were there about an hour ago, but here. <laughs> here I have eyes on it. I've got a question about mental health. So obviously you're saying about your nearly finished your book. Mm-hmm. What was that process like? We obviously, was it triggering at the time? Like, I, I did it for our left school because I didn't do it for my younger stuff um, because I had quite a few sketchy um, childhood traumas, you know what mm. I mean? So, um, I, so then for 16 to about 27, the book is, and there were certain points it was really, really hard because mm. 
there were certain things happened to me in the book that I have wrote in the book that were really, really scary. Mm. And they were really, uh, I mean, they talk about the Don D thing and all that and make it my gangster, but I wasn't. But I did have a lot of scary situations because I thought I was a gangster when I was younger right. and I thought it was cool. Mm. You know what I mean? And um, I fought a lot, so I was always watching my back and I got into a few scary, and at some point, some like that. I kept that I even I remember shouting at the book sometimes, like, why did nobody save you? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Why did nobody see that you weren't right? <laughs> Everybody just thought you were cool as well. You were half your nut. I said to my <laughs> mum one day, I know, I was like, writing this book, and I was like, Mum, I was mental. She went, I know. <laughs> and Mama, why did you know they ain't a bitch like right? right? You know what I mean? Because right. I was dead clever. My mum always called me Leonardo DiCaprio for Shutter Island. Have you seen that? Aye, right, aye. so my mum would say, I would go into these psychiatrists and doctors and all that, and I'd convince them I was all right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd walk out there, but I wasn't all right. I was never all right. I had so much trauma when I was younger that I, I say, like, even PTSD, you know, it's untrapped trauma. Mm -hmm, yeah. People just go, right, I can't do nothing about it, so let's not talk about it. And I think it's the worst thing you do. It's like you plaster up a traumatic situation yeah. and then you go and revisit it years later. It's like the human condition, right? I can deal with it now. Right. No, deal with it at the time. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? Talk about it at the time. Yeah. And it's even like with guys, like, all joking aside, mm. my boy pals come to me with hundreds of stuff because I've been through so much stuff that nothing's scary, especially my pals that are soldiers and that. They have, all joking aside, they've been through some horrific yeah, yeah. sights and scenes, you know what I mean? Mm. But I can sit and listen to them because I've been in horrific things myself. Right. But I do, I'm qualified at the end of the month, I'm doing a thing called silent counselling. And it was designed for a lassie that was deaf and mute. So she couldn't communicate. Mm -hmm. So it was all about techniques of removing the anxieties and the trauma stuff and, you know, being able to sleep more different and mm -hmm. no having the, like, the tremors because I get night tremors with yeah. my full bodies mm -hmm. and I can't move in my bed. I'm quite glad I've not got a partner because when I used to have one, I used to punch him in the, the mouth <laughs> and all that. You know what I mean? By accident, no, you know what I mean? She used to whap. I'm like, sorry. No. <laughs> I mean, woke up, me used to make jokes about that. I used to, I used to f feel you bolt up right and you bump. <laughs> but um, it was so traumatic when I was younger and like, again like the online thing back in the day scheme wins were meant to be hard aye, you know what aye. I mean you weren't allowed to cry yeah. especially if you were a boy and if you were half my family crying just wasn't mm -hmm. allowed you know mm -hmm. what I mean it's like what you're doing mm -hmm. you know what I mean slapped and all that aye. so doing certain bits in my book really writing it down let me see how horrific my mm -hmm. life actually was and how did I actually get through that because yeah. all joking aside that's why I became a comedian, because that comedy, Aye. what men were just something I did, you know what I mean? I, 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 I've i never been in love. I know what you said, being, I've never been in love. Aye. I don't know what that's like to have that affection for a guy. They've always been commodities to me, what I could get out of them, what status they had, or mm -hmm. what, what they can Aye. accept, but nothing about mm -hmm. connection. Even my ex used to say, will you just connect? And I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know how. Aye. So they know the work that I've done on myself now and doing the silent counselling and doing the book and starting to realise that it's nice inside of me is what I can be in the outside mm -hmm. and that's yeah. how I've no bothered with the outside mm -hmm. and I've really worked in the inside and building confidence. The yeah. guy online as well, is it Stuart Irons? Uh, I think I've seen Aye, him. Aye, so I'm doing his kind of kickstart live and kicking and I yeah. listen to him a lot and I've been getting up and it's like doing exercise as mm -hmm. soon as I get up and self writing a letter of self love to yourself right. and you know because yeah. I because like one of my best mates Darren he'll go you tell me I'm great I'm wonderful I'm brilliant and he says you can't even tell yourself one nice mm -hmm. thing about yourself you've always got to joke about it so writing it really did trigger mm -hmm. loads of stuff and made me realise how traumatic and how disconnected Aye. I was for life and how I actually got here was strength alone. I, mm -hmm. I think if I wasn't made a right good strength, I don't think mm -hmm. I'd have been here. I think I'd have done something crazy to myself Aye. or got myself in a crazy situation. And and I've got a lot of mates that are I'm going and visiting their headstones for the same reason because it was mm -hmm. that scheme mentality. Yeah. Like it's a part of me I can't say that I'm depressed. I mean, up until six months ago, I lived through my wings. They were mm -hmm. the only thing that gave me joy, and they were the only thing that I, God, I feel emotional. The only thing yeah. that I could have safe love with. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, they wouldn't yeah, hurt me. Yeah. They wouldn't use me. And my longest relationship I did have, it was a narcissistic relationship. Mm -hmm. And they cheated with everybody and mm -hmm. anybody. And I felt like that because I yeah. thought it was my fault. Yeah. I thought, because he would make me feel, he'd say, well, because of your past, I can't really love you. Because mm -hmm. of how you behaved before, Ken, Ken you're, you're unclean. And well, he would say all these things. Mm -hmm. But I was the way I was when I was younger because of my trauma as a child. Mm -hmm. I didn't know 
my body was mine because no. of what happened to me when I was younger. No. So when I got older, I, I didn't know I had the capability to say no. no. So we, when I, we, once I'd really done that, I then met this guy who obviously seen the vulnerabilities in me and thought, yes, mm -hmm. game on, do you know what I mean? And and cheated me with everybody around about me. I imagine it was like, it was like prolific cheating. It wasn't no. just like the one mistake and a drunk night out and it, it was like yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. There was like hiding his phone, women going past me in the street, smiling at me, I'm going, well, I slept with her, no. you know what I mean? But I. I hadn't caused the trauma I went through and hadn't dealt with it. I, I think it only was my fault. That was, it was right. my fault he did that. It wasn't his fault. And then when mm. I came out the other side, I have it isn't it? It's only in recent times with the addictions and stuff like that that I realised that how bad that narcissistic relationship was and mm. how much damage that's actually... And that's how when I went into sobriety, I also made... The, they do make a suggestion if you're single to stay single mm -hmm. so that you can, you can get a relationship with yourself first. But I made a decision then. So eight months, I haven't even so much as thought about a guy because I thought, I need to really find me yeah. and love me first because I am no making my shoes mm. again. You see it classically all the time. The last it's been through what I've been through. She doesn't fix herself. She does meet somebody nice and mm. she treats them like shite. Aye. So because self, self I, sabotage I, or she'll just abuse him the way she was so that Aye. he can't date to her. And that's no fair in that mm. guy because then she's becoming what she hated. Mm. Yeah. So I do work with a lot mm. of lasses and I'm, I'm writing my next books already started. I'm already writing about living with a narcissist mm -hmm. because that word's flung about all the time now. Aye. You know, he's a narcissist. I really like you to take a deep into a relationship with a narcissist and then say, mm -hmm. right, he's a bit of a tit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or he's a bit of an arsehole with his mouth when he's yeah. drunk, but he's no a narcissist because they really did mm -hmm. chip you away. Yeah. And anything I did have left was gone. Right. And it took me up until six months ago. And writing that book was when I realised how bad it was and mm -hmm. how much he'd actually, it wasn't even my childhood stuff. It was all the stuff that he'd done to me. And all I wanted was for him to love me. Yeah. And I thought I loved him, but I think in a way I was addicted to him and yeah. I was addicted to what he did to me. And I was only happy, it was like that toxic relationship, you know how maybe if you're having a normal relationship, yeah. you'll be happy away from your partner. Mm -hmm. Whereas I, I couldn't cope when yeah, he wasn't there. Was that like a trauma bond? Aye, it was like a trauma bond like, yeah. when he wasn't there, because like, who's away now? Mm -hmm. You know, and his yeah. phone's off. Or, there was never a moment, but actually <clears throat> writing the book gave me so much closure. Yeah. And actually, in the last six months, I've actually started to like myself the way people Good. like me. Like my mates, are, as I said, are predominantly men, but they're safe. Mm -hmm. because they're my mates you know I can't love them in that way mm -hmm. and they can't love me in that way so yeah. I get I get all the male sort of stuff and then I would separate it like a classic guy mm -hmm. that wasn't that was fucked and he'd basically you'll know guys like that they can have lassie pals yeah. and then lassies that they sleep with but they can't put the two of them together so that's what I was like for a long time but I've been eight months doing loads of work and it's mm -hmm. that's Stuart Irons and Good doing my recovery stuff as well and just actually being kind to me and uh, giving me the love that I always give. But even as I said, my mate Darren, who's my best mm -hmm. mate, I mean, I was on the phone to him before I came in here because I was a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. He was going, what do you mean, you idiot, man? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you'll be fine. And, and we're talking away and helping him. And he's like, just be you. You're actually cool as fuck. Aye. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm on. he's like, aye. aye. You know what I mean? So then that's when I realised that, but now I've got confidence and I'm rebuilding myself and I'm not looking for... A man, I'm a man, I'm like, well, when life happens, that mm -hmm. will happen. Oh, yeah. And I don't need to worry about it now. I don't need to be completed. See, and I think that. See, talking about progression, like obviously you're doing a lot of work on yourself, but what happens in a year down the line where you do find that thing? Man, obviously, would you think you'd be a wee bit more open now because you've got aye, a better I relationship? Think, aye, I think, mm. I, would, I think it would be more, a bit more aware as well. Aye, it'd be more Denise than Dee. Mm -hmm. Aye. You know, straight away, most people that have been attracted to me, and that's why when I talk about the messages that are online, I don't entertain them because mm. they are attracted to thee and yeah. she's no real. Aye. You Aye. know what I mean? Because I'm more sensitive. I'm, I'd am i rather sit there and talk about, I'm not into drinking, as you know, so I, and I like going camping in the middle of the stars mm -hmm. and know that they're getting fully and falling on our tables and Aye. probably the impression they've got of mm -hmm. who thee is. So it's, to, it's hard though being in Aye. this life and trying to find that, but now that I found myself, it was nothing to do with mm -hmm. my fame. It was everything to do with how incomplete I felt in myself and going through that eight years, I can 
complete and utter narcissism. Right. Well, I see he's flinging that word about now, and sometimes I want to throat punch a few people. Mm. I'm like, he cheated on you once, he doesn't want to be with you anymore. He's not a narcissist. You know what I mean? There's a big difference. Yeah. yeah and right. people just use that word all the Some time. Some people now. use that word and they don't even know what it means. They don't know what it right. means. Do you know what I think we're trying, to, we're trying to put a label on Everton nowadays? Aye. 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 If Wayne's are a wee bit disruptive, if you ADHD or whatever, Aye. everything needs a label, just fucking call it for what Aye. it is. Aye. It just doesn't look like <coughs> If that's the case, <laughs> every single one of us would have had ADHD in school. Aye. And mm. that's Aye. a given. The mm. way it is now. And it, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, that is what it is. If they're going to do that, but you're saying it's a label. Is see, it, see, the thing is, right, that I've, I've, I'm talking to my experience with my wings, right? Mm -hmm. I think my youngest is, she's hyper as shit, mm -hmm. And personally, I think maybe, maybe mm -hmm. there's a wee bit of ADHD in there. And that is fine. I'm mm -hmm. happy with mm -hmm. that. She is just going to be her. But then I'm thinking to myself, is that going to impact her school? Mm -hmm. Does she need that label so that the school know? Aye, so there's that a, a buffer there. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the reason why she'll mm -hmm. not sit at the table. Aye. This is the reason why mm -hmm. she's going to go and fucking... See, for experience, I had behind my labels. Aye. So uh, sometimes they are a good thing because it gets you an understanding of them. Aye, aye. But when I used to do a lot of things, oh, it's my mental health, it's because I've done it. And I knew I think, right, it's all right for you to have the labels, but it's not a, it's not a free for all to hurt people. And you just, it's not a ticket. You, it's aye. not a ticket to be a cunt, basically. Mm -hmm. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So I, would I would never, I says, right, I need to get her testing. No. I would never, I'd be happy. No if it disrupts no her. Is, if it's going to, if it's going to impact her, then I think it's a good thing to get. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. a diagnosis, but it's not going to be shouted, oh, she's got this and she's got Some that. Some people label I mean? their veins it's... without even taking them aye. to the doctors. Aye. Aye. But as you I said, it will help, help, it would help aye. teachers. If it helps the teachers, just to understand. With the vein. <coughs> aye. And then they can go, right, this is why she's doing that. She's, because when I was at school, if I was, I was fucking wild at school. I was so fucking up and down and running about and things like that, right? And they the teachers were always shouting me. I was a bastard. Aye, so they thought I was a wee arsehole. I used to so take, no, I used to take I used to take bass at a side of PE. What do you call it? PE pitch? Primary one. The audience. The primary one. Oh, that piece man, I used to taste the orange. I know. I'll tell you that, right? Yeah, I'll talk about that. I don't know why was it. See the flavoured shower gel? He's ever tried that? Like, taste what? <laughs> what? I see like mint shower gel or not? Has anybody ever tried that? Like, tried eating it? They say you get like. That's mint. why I'm fair. <laughs> <shouldn't you? laughs> don't, don't. Where don't do you say? Port Glasgow. Ah, but, right, exactly. No, but don't all, don't all <laughs> sit here and say he's had no tried it. No, last, you, I know you've tried it. The mint one. Tried it? You, you use that mint shower gel when it's pure mint, you use the coconut one, it's pure coconut. You taste it and it, they taste the same. How the fuck? Can they smell so different but taste the same? Yeah, do you know, you know what they got me when I was younger? How? I need an answer. soap and they're meant to be scented, but, but, but they don't taste it. Sure, but, aye, but if, if, you, if you've got a coconut and an orange and you smell them, they'll taste the way they smell. Aye, because they're actually the real thing. But, but how? I, I don't get it. Because it's scented. <laughs> it's just meant to smell know, like it, but it's not meant to taste like it. If it smells that like strong, it. how does it not taste like that? Do you know? They I don't get it. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it, it's up there with aliens and all that. Mental. What's aliens got to do with <laughs> mint shower gel? I'm not going to put it as good as PT. Do you believe in aliens? Aye, 100%. Sitting next to a fucking one. Aye. Aye. <laughs> See, just oh, before we move on. Aye. Because no, I need to tell us because I've obviously I've got a wee bit of heat on us now. So, <laughs> do you know when I was younger, man, I think it was maybe about 12 or something, just going into first year, and we were all out. Obviously, you used to run about the streets and play FIP or whatever. And if they all had come up with a joke, they were like, ah, here, you ever tried your own cum nut? Fucking oh, hell! Here we go! Here we go! Uh, if you're getting cancelled uh, this episode, maybe I'm you're getting cancelled! I'm like, no. No. <laughs> Obviously, go home, do what you got today, and like, a wee bit. And we're out the next day, I was like, aye, right, I'm not fight. <laughs> Well, at least you'll know it's rotten then. Ah, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> tastes, like, tastes like pancake mix without the eggs. It's like when guys always say, do you swallow them like you first? <laughs> <laughs> so I tell him the next day and that was for a fucking about six months, man. I was a weirdo ah, in school. You're a weirdo. There's no two ways about it. Aye, but then it's all right doing. for lassies to test theirs. And it's all right. I mean. But it's meant to be. It's the same way it's all right for lassies to winch Aye. in front of what guys, but they didn't ever like it the other way around about. Anybody was... got a fucking... <laughs> from a shower gel how did we get from shower gel to jism you know what I mean he's naked protein Honestly, and is it actually a proven fact just while we're on that subject is it an actual proven fact it's full of protein is that no, it's a shower gel you? no this this shower he's got a diet you need like Greg's and fucking monster this day's like barrier that does change the taste it, by uh, the way pineapples change the taste I fucking eat mint I eat mint shower gel I'm fucking shut up see everybody's like He's got pure extra. No, but here, no Elsa, no Elsa tried in school, and it wasn't that. It was puddles. <laughs> you remember, you used to get gel pens. Mine, they were scented. Aye. You get scented gel pens. Or you ate that, that scented rubber on the end of the no, pencil. I bit in your tune. I put in to see if it, the ink tastes, and it didn't. 
Of course it did. Yeah. It was I. Uh, but why did did your mum ground you enough? <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like my mod, I don't know. That's why he mind. looks older. Oh. It's all the toxins he's got in his body. Yeah. <laughs> I tried that. She scared his ass with a pointed finger. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, hell, man. Sick. Put that out of your For fuck's sake, Jordan, man. Fucking hell, man. For God's sake. Oh, <laughs> Is your mum she trying fucking... to shower gels? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> I, I probably, I'm, I'm, I know for a fucking fact, you two have definitely tried it. Can I tell you, I've no taste at shower gels, by accident. You have. How have I? I fucking know you have. <laughs> have you tasted you mint have. shower gel? Admit no. it, I forever hold your peace. I actually have the taste of ah, mint shower no. gel. If ah, it's been in my hair and I've fucking washed oh, it because of yeah. my mouth, then it's horrible. What do you think? I just pulled that in my mouth? I actually did. I, <laughs> I, I thought that's what you meant. Yeah, so put, put it on a, a fucking spoon. <laughs> 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 I don't know how you spoon. I honestly can't, can't get my hands on it. Get explained because it's pure uh, minty. I'm like, that's got to fucking. I worked through a few. This is like an after eight. Mental. What does it say on it? Made with real mint. Bullshit. It's mint essence. But it's not made real mint, then, is it? Bullshit. Aye, they've made the new strawberries. Oh, and I thought, sweating. I'll give the mint one and I straight on that coconut one and that was, it tastes the same, how can it taste the exact same as something that smells so different? Because it's scented. I know you keep <laughs> saying this, but it's it? not registering with me at all. It's See if I hung about with you, you mean you would fall out. Uh, this aye. is one of the ones where he says, was the colour orange for the colour or the fruit? Well, I'll tell you a story. Have you ever been to a... And he's been a psychiatrist or anything like that. Aye. 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 Right. Still way one. I was going to say that. <laughs> so don't just don't tell him about his right. job, but I'm fucked. Right. <laughs> I went to one when I was younger, right? And I think this was part of my problem because they, they were more fucked in the nut than me, right? I went in and she says to me, I was I was really going through a bad time and that. I was put my head through a window and shouted, here's Johnny. <laughs> Wheeled a woman out the road that was in a wheelchair, right? Because I had to back her boyfriend, but I didn't want her to witness it. <laughs> so I wheeled her in the kitchen, right? And then I was like, done for touching her. And I'm like, no, I moved her out the road. Aye. And and man's that was, I always like to make an entrance because I should have just trapped the door. Uh -huh. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I jumped through the window and shouted, here's Johnny. <laughs> My head right through the window, smashed the full window, shouted, here's Johnny, wheeled her in the kitchen, lured him, so they put me in a psychiatric ward, right? <laughs> and um, she's like, ah, now, she, I went into the room and it was a wee woman with glasses. She didn't look old mm -hmm. enough to be there, right? And she's gone, sit down. And I'm like, I better play the game because it's yeah. us or I'm going to Fanny Hill. Know what I mean? <laughs> so I better play the game. And she gave me an orange, right? No, but see, back at school, rewind back to school, I was getting in trouble when I went to my behaviour support teacher and she gave me a banana, no. right? That's the fucking true story, by the way. Gave mm -hmm. me a banana and she said, see, if it was a ball, what would you do? But I was like, bounce it right off your nut. <laughs> no, I mean, what are you talking about? It's a banana, right? Mm -hmm. So then gets into this woman, right? 25-year-old. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't you conform because I knew if I didn't, I wouldn't you go somewhere else. And she's like, I'm going to give you this tangerine. And I'm like, what is it with these cunts and uh, fruit, man? You know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to give you this tangerine and I want you to put all your negative thoughts into it. <laughs> and, and a tangerine. I, and I, I, so I'm just like, right, play the game. Kid, <laughs> I'm putting all these negative thoughts into this yeah. tangerine. Right? And I'm thinking, if I've put all my negative thoughts in there, you should have gave me a melon. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm holding the tangerine and she's like, now peel it. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> right? So I peeled yeah. the tangerine, right? She's like, how do you feel? I was like... Well, I've just peeled a tangerine. How am I meant to feel cured? That's horrible. The half what? No, I mean. <laughs> I'd have to put a flaky. I can't. I did I take a flaky. That. I ended up an injection and in there for six weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can take, you? Can you? Take a slice of anger. Take a slice of anger. That's, another, <laughs> that's something else that human beings shouldn't be. Shouldn't do is peel tangerines and oranges. That's horrendous. You do it with your feet, don't you? I don't do it. Are oh, you do? Just eat them, but no. Because I can't even... Uh, see what he means? He means go, I want to peel at him. Like, you need to go and ask your mom. That's fucking horrific. That's, oh, that's maybe beans, man. Oh. See beans? No. I don't like beans touching anything, oh. but I can eat them. I can eat them. Oh, nah, beans, man. Bit. I don't like beans either. I don't like them touching nothing. I, I've got to have them a wee ramekin. I mean, Aye. I'm greedy. Aye. I'll eat them, but I don't like them. I don't think I'll... In fact, get... They're it. slimy, aren't they? Yeah. Jordan, get the biscuits that he bought. It. Jordan bought biscuits. Fucking should be sent home. Look at that. What are shorties? Absolute shite. That's just something you? your grand would buy in the nah, bar. That is, isn't it? Day, man. Well, well, and you need cups of tea with that. You need no beers with that. That fucking stupid cunt over there. 
promise you it's a double cheeseburger and then we go to McDonald's and there was a big queue outside it. And so they go to your bag of biscuits. I know, I drink that. You were slagging them. me for my Iron Brew Extra and you're sitting eating shorties. See, we weren't sure what Iron Brew Extra was. We weren't sure if it was uh, the energy drink, man. No, oh. it's just the... It's <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> that uh-huh. biscuit no good down well with the beer, no? See what the original Iron Brew? Aye. It tastes more like the original Iron Brew than any of the rest mm. of them do. That's a fact. If you got to argue me about it, I'll take you outside. Iron <laughs> <But>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Extra. Brew Extra. So it's, it's got no sugar in it, right? But it's actually closer tasting to the old Iron Brew than any of the other ones. Do you mind when they changed that recipe? And people people mm-hmm. out of Spain and they were still getting old recipe. You, you, get it here, it you get it here, but it's like £2.30 a bottle. It's not the same, but it's not the same. I don't know. I don't think it's either. These cunts would stockpile their Iron Brew for beers in Spain, man. But how's it all right for Cola, but? Because they're Scottish? It's because they're fucking Jamie, No, it's Jamie. Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver, I could go down to England and punch a seed right up. He took Turkey Twizzlers off the planet. I'm not happy. He started all this sugar deal, you know what I mean? Started ransacking the schools, you know what I mean? You see that one when he took all the good food and put it out and then he took the chicken nuggets into the school and he went, what one do you want? Everyone in the way doing chicken nuggets, man. Aye, but that's what I'm saying. I've not had my dinner yet and Jamie Oliver ruined sugar. Uh, he just came out of Scotland and took sugar away from everywhere then fucked off back to the Italian restaurant. I remember Island. I used to get rhubarb and a bowl of fucking sugar I saw that, I loved that. <laughs> <My> <laughs> Who's worse? Maggie Thatcher or Jamie Oliver? Oh, Jamie no. Oliver? <laughs> Jesus, that's oh, a bold statement, man. They're both up there, man. They're both up there, I think. I Matt can't Thatcher. stand her. No. No, I could not what? stand her. Remember, you used to have a picture of her in your room in the army. Did you? I used to, <laughs> used to, used to fucking talk to you and all that. Nah, no, I, that. that was the ultimate insult in primary. You fancy Maggie Thatcher? Uh, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Hate but, it, no, I man. I was Holly Willoughby when I was in school. Yeah, but Holly Willoughby. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Maggie Thatcher, see, even you used to think, did she actually have a heart? Nah. See, even no. she used to be the pole tax, huh? Iron Lady. Aye, Iron Lady. She was Aye, a Iron Iron Lady. Heart. She was a cunt, man. She was Jimmy Savile's best pal. Oh, she, yeah, right? Yeah, right. they were good pals. Here, I, I actually seen her drive past that house. I still... Uh, I does my not in? Not... I see. What house? He's what so he's a a Aye, home, like, oh. what a waste, what man. A what that what is a cracking house. I know, but you know that is fucking... Nah, nah you, you couldn't need it. You need is to demolish it. Is it not the same as Alistair there as well? For what doing that, I think it's, is that not, I don't know actually, no, is that the same road? Alistair Collies, but they're actually selling bits off his house and folk mm. are buying it, I mean, I don't know, he was into all know, that dark demonic know, stuff. I said the biggest, the biggest thing we have got to see my controversy, called a conspiracy theory, but who mm-hmm. cares, right? But the biggest fool that Satan did was make you believe he wasn't real. Do you know what yep. I mean? A hundred and ten percent. Know what I mean? Absolutely. Take this and we'll buy you a cheeseburger. Take this, you can go and hold it. I've got a cheeseburger. No, see what I mean? <laughs> Satan's right in your heart. Know what I mean? I'll do it for a cheeseburger. I'll do it for a cheeseburger. But honestly, it's it, that house. That, that house fucking demolished. Aye, aye. You need to pull it. I don't know if no, there's a lot. No, but the folk are selling stones for it, and I, I, I they're I buying know. stones for it. Yeah, well, it might be one of the see that Savile's house that needs brought down. The building was that's allowed to be brought down. Surely there's going to need to be some sort of law saying we can take that monster's fucking house down. Imagine ruining that site because it's locked open. No, Glencoe. Glen 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 right on the, right on the Glen. Beautiful, beautiful right. place. And you, then you see that. I know. Mm-hmm. Dee, can I, let's see, are you, I don't know if you're into it or not, but see, Crystal's not that, can I carry on? Are you into it or not? Aye, I'm a, I'm a psychic medium. Are you? Do you put uh, stones in that out to get charged after me? Aye. Oh, <laughs> well, I say something else <laughs> Aye, crystals charged. I've got a crystal the charger The moon charges as well. a stone. I also got in, um, wash, uh, wash put them in and all yeah, that. Yeah, but I think... Cold water and all that. I think that's... But that's a sage not, in that. No, that's Ooh, not, I do my sage. I do Reiki as well. Do Actual, you? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's... I'm going to show you after this. I'm going to get you to put your horn in between. You'll feel the energy. Feel the energy. Does, the, energy the energy. Aye. Listens <laughs> the drums in the gym and all. Do you need to say something? <laughs> no. You, my, just... you can't do it yourself. I'll do it. I need to put your horn in between. Don't get it. The, no, that's like, that's like, that's like go, there. No, oh, I've, I've, got, I've got a big brother right, and I've got cousins, right? Like, and it was one of the ones where I need to try and pull and then they'd like, oh, bang. <laughs> no, that's what it's no, going no, to be. Like that, just feel the energy. Right, right. What did I do? No, just one horn in between. Right, Tell me what you feel. Your horn touching my horn. I'm not touching your you horn. You just did. Like, look, can you not feel it? No. You're at it. He's on the other palm, but. I do Reiki healing and all that. Aye, but I've done spiritualism for years. Go and put your horns on his knee. But do you know what I think that is? I think that's merely a kind of a manifesting. If you 
it's maybe not the actual like, crystals, but if you believe sun's helping you. Well, I see, what I say about that wee book that that wee guy out his nut wrote called Jesus, mm-hmm. right? When Muhammad and all that, they were having a bad day back in Hingmead after 300 years right. after Jesus died, right? Sorry if you're, you're Catholic faith, right? But 300 years after wee Jesus right. died and he wasn't even registered birth, right? It was mm-hmm. Horace, right? right? But we'll not get into the big Hingmead's <laughs> about it, right? But they wrote this wee book, right? Mm-hmm. And they wrote it out of good faith. Uh-huh. And they wrote this book, Hinking, and then the Protestants fell out the, well, the Catholics they ended up protesting and then called themselves Protestants, right? Mm-hmm. They, I, they ended up going at and then did, but... I, but he went and did that. And then King it was it King Arthur? Mm-hmm. King Arthur decided he'll take the bit out of the moon worshipping and the crystals out of the Bible because he didn't folk wouldn't understand it. So it's been rewritten that many times. But see if you believe that that's gonna bring you That's good. Insane. So then it's going to bring you good. You get what you so, put out. So, it? but if see if Karma. you can see if you can believe that it's going to mm-hmm. it's going to give you control. Uh-huh. It's going to give you control. Uh-huh. It's like when they say about p- priests being mm-hmm. same as Jimmy Savile. No, no, paedophiles became that mm-hmm. in order to do what they were doing. A, a real priest that believes he's in his God and his worship, and right. you know, and if he believes in good and he believes in the good source, he's going to give you it good. Mm-hmm. So it's like everything else in it. It's right. it's it's, it's, man, it's manipulation. It's like, is there really a God? Well, if you believe in it. Mm-hmm. And you believe it's good, then you'll do good, and good will circulate. So what can be wrong with that? Just the same as if you believe that there's bad out there and everything in life's shite, then everything in life's got to be shite and it's got to be bad. So it's all about your mind and all. So I've got pals that are Christians and totally into the Bible and Jesus and all that, and we've had lengthy conversations about it to the midnight. My sister's one of the freedom fighters, right? So she's Mm -hmm. doing all that kind of stuff. And the way I see it is, whether it's a Bible, whether you're doing praying six times a day, whether you're howling to the moon, see if it's got a good intention, then it's good for humanity. So it doesn't matter what it is. No, I agree. That's what I was trying to get at, but you've obviously worded it a lot better there. Aye. Um, See, one thing I I wanted to ask you about as well, see, obviously you're saying about you had quite a kind of like a traumatic upbringing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've got the wings now. What was your what's your relationship like with Wayne's? Do you find yourself like quite protective over him for what you've been through? My two daughters, my my oldest daughter moved in with her nana at fifteen because mm-hmm. I was too strict. Aye. I hate admitting that, but I wouldn't let them breathe. Mm-hmm. My my oldest daughter couldn't even cross the road at ten year old herself because I Aye. didn't let them out. I didn't let them go out and play. Um, I didn't let them else bath them. Mm-hmm. I didn't leave them with anybody. Mm. Um, I was very, I had two babysitters that were cracking and the lasses have ended up brilliant. My 15 year old, she she was the same. She kind of went in with her dad as well, do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because I was too protective. Didn't let my wee boy I know as much as he's a boy and it's different. I'm mm-hmm. so, and now I've got better. Cause I'm right. thinking I need to, he's grown up, he's 11. I need to stop wrapping them in cotton wool well and, mm-hmm. and not letting them experience life. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, my oldest daughter's at uni to become a teacher. Good man. Do you know, but she she always said you didn't let us out. I mean, you know, I didn't let them out mm-hmm. in the streets to play, I didn't let them into clubs and, right. you know, and um, they trust them to wear them. Mm-hmm. You know, because my, my experience of my child, childhood was in my home. Aye, exactly. You know what I mean? So it Aye. wasn't outside influencer right, mm-hmm. or anywhere I went, but uh, I it's and I would always overthink anybody being mm-hmm. too affectionate, especially the opposite sex, yeah. as much Aye. as that's terrible. Um, <clears throat> I, what you think so long, and, you know, I would always watch hour when they were getting their nappy changed and all that stuff, and it was, now I'm a lot better, but yeah. that's because I've worked through it all, but then it was dead raw. Aye. I had my daughter to experience love. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, they're the only thing in my life I can honestly say I love to be ever in through my heart. Right. I would cross water, fire, and but I'm too much. Like my daughter used to be fair to tell me it because I'd be through doors like that, you're saying. Right. So, you know what I mean? Try to go ahead with everybody because right. they'd tell my way that she was an idiot. You know what I mean? Did, so very, very right. overprotective. Do they, do they understand now why I, you are I? I'm a, my daughter's done the new. She's done in, um, for the uni the new and lying on the couch, my wee boy. I'll show you then, my wee boys, mm-hmm. he's just, because I've been over affectionate with him, because yeah. I didn't get affection. Aye. My mum was always working, she was old school, it was clean, wash, out you go, yep. you can, I love you. Mm. So I always tell my wings every day that I loved them, and I was, I'm was, i always cuddling them, and mm-hmm. and the two lasses are like, right mum, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. get off us. Aye. You know what I mean, whereas my wee boy, he's became as affectionate as me, Good. so he loves a cuddle. Like the night before I was coming up here, he was just lying and tapping me, Cuddling right in, do you know what I mean? But right. I, I was uh, the two lasses I've learnt, and I'm, I need to watch because like Cruzo has to get and play, and I'll go, aye, you yeah. know what I mean? But he's like, Mum, don't phone me in the first twenty minutes because he knows because mm-hmm. I'm sitting there like, and sometimes it's terrible when he go up and plays football. My pals that know it, they'll go, the we go a run run, mm-hmm. you know, because they'll tell me because they know that I'm going to be stalking yeah. where he is to see if he's all right because there was so much happened to me with my mum mm-hmm. working all the time, and also. 
um, obviously what happened in the home, but obviously mm-hmm. just getting to run, you Aye. know what I mean? And older guys and older people and all the carnage and the criminal and all that stuff was all because I needed to have an eye on me. Aye. You know what I mean? So I, I was terrible, really bad. No, I've learned the it, but I was terrible, especially my oldest and my middle mm-hmm. one was not didn't realise how bad I was with her. She didn't want to go out, so I didn't mm-hmm. make her go Aye. out. See, it must be quite hard to, like, obviously, with everything you've been through, it must be quite hard to actually come out of your side that way, a positive outlook, when you've seen how I how bad that, humanity can be. I put that down to spirituality. I uh-huh. put that down to higher sources. I put that down to feeling there's a higher plane and a reason because I know, don't publicise it big, but uh-huh. I know help a lot of trauma children, uh-huh. boys and lasses. And obviously in the trauma course so if I hadn't experienced all that there's people that message me there's a woman that sends me and she doesn't mind me talking about it sends me flowers every year mm-hmm. because I saved her boy and I was his best pal and I got controversy for it everywhere mm-hmm. um, um, and he was he was gay but back then that was a problem do you yeah. know what I mean back then folk had a huge issue with that and I turned him up to his first night and stuff like that and and I eventually got him to accept his sexuality because he tried to kill himself just because uh, he was that him. sexuality. And his mum still to this day saying, and she even says to me, I wish the world, because when I get big with the comedy thing, mm-hmm. she said, I, I, I know your comedy's good, but I wish the world would see the Denise that we know. Uh, she says, because we love her. She's mm-hmm. so nice. And I'm, I, I, I still get that fear because I was hurt so badly. Uh, and I, I don't want folk to see that in case they hurt it. But now yeah. I'm all right with it because now I've realised through experience that and get into sobriety as well. I've met so many th- different trauma people with mm-hmm. the same addiction, same, and, and they help me and I help mm-hmm. them. And I can honestly say I've got freedom for it now, but Good. it did take years. Good. Took years. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, we're talking about obviously like people who have been there and helped you and stuff. Like, I wanted to ask about Kenny for the, the Polar, mm-hmm. Polar Bear mm-hmm. Club because he seems like a a character but I have seen this as well uh, I've seen this great. does a lot of good stuff and I can't even obviously because you're not meant to talk about fellowship right because it's oh, all right, a secret club it? and all that I'm right sure. I want a free heart I, I, I'll get you Mr. one of them Polar but he does put full commitment <laughs> into um, the cold water and he was the one that introduced me to fellowship mm-hmm. he was the one that said and I can talk about my experience so he was the one that says to me um, do you know maybe I think you're an addict first and I used to think it was always a trauma, trauma. I smoked right. dope because of trauma. I fucking drink too much because of trauma. Mm. And he says, do you know how you maybe get the addiction malady? And I'm like, no, pure shouting at him because he'll laugh because before I went to pray, I used to kick doors. And I'm like, see, that's Kenny, fuck this. <laughs> Kicking doors. No, you're full of shite, man. Shove your fucking fell shit up your ass. <laughs> no plenty in acorn. God never saved me back then and all that. And he did go through a lot of stuff, but he never ever gave up. Mm-hmm. And he was in a different fellowship for me, but I went to another one. Somebody else reached out to me on my page when I started saying somebody had mentioned this to him, because I've always been an open book. Um, he was like, why didn't you get a feed all the time? And at first I was like, see you, you yeah, fucking no, idiot. You no, know what I mean? Because I'm angry. He's like, but what are you angry for? Do you think that was just your first response? Aye, because like, it was so used defense, to kicking Defence attack, you know? Aye, because I was gre- defense, greeting was so. weakness and mm-hmm. people in my life enjoyed me crying. It was part, yeah, of, it was part mm-hmm. of the game. They liked to cry but so I wouldn't cry. I would just be explosive. Aye. See that now, going to that uh, fixing trauma and all that. Aye. And, now you know yourself that like, you used to just blow up. Aye. Now you can kind of take a step back and I move don't forward and go, right, hold on. I'm not saying, I'm not saying I don't here. get, I see, what they call it, stinking thinking and get bad thoughts a mm. day, but they, they say I stink a day and straight away I'll connect with another addict. Mm. I'll go and speak to them, tell them how I'm feeling, or I'll go and help another addict, and, I'll, and then I'll do my prayers and meditation. It was like what I was saying earlier. Folk are going out of fucking praying mm. and all that, and I'll go <laughs> getting out your nut every weekend and fucking right. all your jobs and your relationships. So, but what one is is crazy right. now? Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Right. And, and my mates are like, uh, uh, I don't know what you say. But it's like you're calling me crazy because I get up every morning, I pray, I meditate, and I go out there to be a good intention every day. And probably the most freest I've felt in my whole entire right. life. Yet you're still doing the same thing every mm-hmm. weekend that nearly kills you every Tuesday right. when you're sitting there with your heat broken bottles and blaming PTSD and blaming this yep. and blaming no being cheeky because my mates have been in the army mm-hmm. Afghanistan it's nothing to do with that and everything yeah. to do with how you're dealing with it Aye. do you know what I mean you can't change that trauma mm-hmm. but how you're dealing with it is the reason you're dying mm-hmm. it's nothing to do Aye. with the trauma Aye. so it's it's been it saved my life but at first it was embarrassing going I oh, yeah, praying that every day I do day Aye. but being amongst people that understand you because the thing about my addiction is as well people think that it's the drug that's the problem it, for my experience, it's no, it's you. Mm-hmm. You're the problem, but Aye. the drug's the solution to your problem. So we get a thing called the addiction malady, which Kenny explained to me first. And I have 
go to thank Al for be forever grateful for Kenny to even if I don't ever stay in this complete path of sobriety, he got me to where I needed to be off my knees because I was on my knees right. when we met. I was like done, <clears throat> despair, everything, irritability. And he said, well, let me just explain. You've got to always just talk about your experience. And it's like, it's a, it's a mind and body illness addiction, mm -hmm. right? So the mind tells you that you can have one or two. And it constantly tells you, like, I'm six months clean and if somebody came out there with a joint, I could take one. I'd be all right with one now. I've been mm -hmm. off at six months. Right. See, the mental obsession is I can take one or two. Mm -hmm. And the body allergy is like a peanut allergy. See, mm -hmm. like being allergic to peanuts. If you were allergic to peanuts, you wouldn't eat them, right? Mm -hmm. So ad addicts, proper addicts, right? Because you've got the party goer that can pick drugs up and get mental with them and maybe get addicted to one substance but nothing else. Mm -hmm. But with the likes of a proper addict will addict to anything, life, the gym, a bird, a man, everything's addictive to them, obsessive to them. They've got mm -hmm. to, 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 to extreme, you know what I mean? So. The, then the body kicks in once you've the mental obsessions because that's your serial killer we call it that's your biggest killer you're in heat mm -hmm. telling you that you're going to be all right doing this so then you put it in and your body goes yes no. here we go we're off and running mm -hmm. and if you ask anybody it's a proper addict when do you stop well i can stop i but see when you're stopped is it pure hard to stand because we can stop we can't wait to start and once we've started we can't stop yep. no. so it's like that pure pattern so people no. think an addict someday that takes drugs every yeah, single day. Aye. An addict's somebody that goes into a room and can't say no to the substance. Mm -hmm. It's like lying to yourself. Aye, it's, it's like, like saying aye. the diet starts in oh, the only reason I went in, the only reason I ended up taking a line weird of such and such is because it was there. But if you were saying you were off it, why did you have to take it? Aye. Because you're addicted to it. Mm -hmm. Because you're already get a, a mad head and that's where my type of recovery mm -hmm. works for me because I see the book that we read as my dealer. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate it sometimes. I can't stand the bitch. And some of the things it says to me, I want to knock it out. But yeah. I need it as much as I needed my dealer. Right. Because uh, whatever happens, if I don't have that book and I don't have that prayer and that mm -hmm. meditation and that fellowship, then I have substance. Yeah. There's no choice. You know what I mean? Right. And that's the, the mindset. And the reason it's got such, because folk will say, it's not got a high success rate. That's right, because it's complete abstinence. And in this day and age, people, a lot of people mm -hmm. are not capable of seeing that they need to do that, no. that they need to be off everything to be mm. in a better plane. No. And I can I could tell you this now, and a year down the line, you could meet me in a pub and I could be having a couple of beers telling you that was a lot of shite. Oh, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And I, I can't tell you that that's what I'll always do, but Kenny, Kenny helps a lot of people, but he'll say as well, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. So you can have this superhuman image in your head because everybody's imperfect, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? And he taught me that as well. But even with the cold water, he's ever tried that. I, uh, I seen, I, I actually watched you doing your, 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 your first three sets. And I said there was a wee bit of, a, a wee bit of bat there between uh, you. I know, I punched the seed in, you know what I mean? Because he was wanting me to keep going. I'm like, shut it, I, I couldn't actually. I was ill after that for mm -hmm. about 24 hours, man, Aye. in my head and everything. Mm -hmm. Resets, you can keep them. Aye. But I did the 10 minutes in the ice water. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like, you know where yourself be when in the arm, heat busy, noise, yep. everything's gone, your heat's always busy. So the cold water for me is that survival it mode. Shuts everything it shuts down. Everything down. Really, aye, just, good, like it. just the, it's just that moment of clarity. It's that moment of, and your body goes into fight or flight because you know that experience day. So it'll get into fight or flight and all the survival's going to run your full body. So not only is your mindset on down your body, your, vo your, your blood and your... Everything's pumping around, so, so it's so good for you. It's mm. so good for so many different things. It's mm. like the same effect as a 15 to 20 minutes in the sauna, oh. only you can get it in five minutes in the water. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Kenny, all that day, Valerian Oscar, yeah. and that guy's been in the water for like three hours at a time. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think the record I know with one of them, is it Lucas, one of the boys, yeah. is like two... I, I've not been up and they all think it's a big fight, but it's because schools are back in. Oh. And yeah, the is that Alex's big pal? The big baldy guy. Lucas? Yeah. And pals are big Alex Gary. Did he do three sets that night or something? Ah, like that, he did. I might, I might, I might. That's mad, that's mad. Well, no, that was Valerian Oscar. He's got mm. three hours, 13 minutes, but I'm sure Lucas is over two hours. He's, but he's a machine. They call him, the, like, they call him like the Viking, you know what I mean? Shouldn't be, your body shouldn't be able to do that. But it know? does, Aye. and it's and they just, I don't want to do that. I do like one horse type, mm -hmm. which is just getting in it for the, and it really helps my anxiety and depression. And I go away myself a lot and date with the waterfalls. But as I said, Kenny's a, I mean, he'd be brilliant. He's a phenomenal mental, the mental strength yeah. that he's went through. Well, and there's a great waterfall up in Glencoe, where we were telling you. Mm -hmm. At that waterfall, the tattles a pool. 
Bro, and that's used to get probably washed one of the best, best <laughs> cold water that you've got. Aye, because it is, it's good. There's a fairy pools as well, and the falls of phallic. Aye. Falls of phallic's brilliant, but it's Aye. just it's it's just finding for years, and it's nothing against doctors or anything like that, right? My sister, I can hear my sister in my head, because my sister's right into all this big pharma and all Aye. that, right? <laughs> But I do see, I, I do think there's a need for painkillers and all that, obviously. Like, mm -hmm. you go through knee surgery, you need yep. something to relieve the pain, right? But for years you went to the doctor, they didn't know what depression was, they Aye. didn't know what PT, it was like, oh, here, have this, Cetroline here, or well, oh, you've got a drug yep. habit, so we'll give you another drug to combat yeah, that yeah. drug habit, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And that book that was, I day was wrote in 1935, but it's still relatable today, that's no myth. That's mental. You know, and people are imperfect, and it makes it look, and the reason it's so hard to follow is, because it takes a lot of work. You yeah. see, if you took substance every day, mm -hmm. you have to put that programme in your life every day, yeah, yeah. or you become irritable and discontent, is what they call it, basically uptight all the time. Mm -hmm. I've seen my pals do it. I'm, one of my pals is doing it, they're now trying to do it theirself, and they're like, oh, I've just quit the full house and I've done that, and I just and I can't tell them, do you want to just go to a meeting? Do you yeah. want to just go and try it and see if it works for you? Because you wouldn't be, you wouldn't mm -hmm. be like that as uptight, but you can't tell people's paths. Yeah. But it's been the best. I mean, meeting Kenny didn't happen. That was total what chance through. Yeah. His missus had watched my Facebook for years, and then we just kept talking because I seen him at the waterfalls on TikTok, and I just started talking and get. He's like, oh. I'd love you to come up to you. and and that night I went up to the camp to Glen's the day the churches they caught the church right. on Tuesday night. And just the energy with everybody. Now mm -hmm. I'm all about energy. Right. Sorry, Stephen, right? Oh, I'm right. I'm, <laughs> right. I'm sick of I'm getting I'm picked on the night, Dave. No, okay. I'm not coming back here. No. Right. But all, all, joking, all joking aside, the energy with just everybody. And we did what they call the serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. And we do that in fellowship all the time. And we just stood in that cold, freezing water, the sound of the waterfall, the night kind of sounds that mm -hmm. you get, you know what I mean? And it just takes you back. I don't know about you, but when we were younger, there wasn't no Wi-Fi. Right. There mm -hmm. wasn't no computers. There right. wasn't That's no, what I like about camping. I always think going outdoors fixes my head. Aye. And like, like I are saying there, if I'm going out camping, I want to be running about water. I want to hear Aye. the waterfall. I want to see the stars. I want to just be on my own. And then, nature. Aye, just immerse yourself in nature. Right. And it fit. For personally, mm -hmm. it fixes me. Yep. I can just go out and just mm -hmm. turn my head off Aye. and just let everything run about me just swirl about and Aye. it's fine. But mm -hmm. it's, it's all... It's like they say about the medication. See, the medication, like, I always say is a bit like my drug use. It's, it's a short-term solution. Eventually, Aye. your medication plateaus. Mm -hmm. Then you need to change antidepressant. But do you ever feel better on antidepressants is what I'm thinking. I'm not saying there's no a place for them, because of course if you're Sorry. suicidal and you need a chemical yeah. uplift, of course mm. never come off medication, that's not what I'm saying. But for me, going in the middle of a waterfall, talking my stuff out, I go in the kitchen sometimes, shut all my Wi-Fi off and just dance to old music Aye. for an hour. I don't talk to anybody and then I'll get what you said and what proper wild camping. No Aye. camping where you've got the Wi-Fi signal or Aye, right, like right. proper putting the phone you down. Wee fire, hear the Aye, like even see, I was actually burst out greeting because Kenny had obviously introduced me to all the poor and they're all brilliant, by the way. Mm -hmm. the, the, the people at the club are all amazing, not just Kenny, and Aye. it's mm -hmm. not just Kenny that makes the club. There's so many, Michael, all of them, Jordan, there's loads of guys and lassies that are just phenomenal, nice mm -hmm. people, and you don't usually get them collectively together right. but um it's a brilliant club and he's 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 so switched on to mental health you know what i mean he's tell. so switched on he's and when i used to phone him i don't need him as much now so i don't mm -hmm. phone him that's terrible but i don't need him as much now so i don't phone him the but same you know he'd probably be happy with it aye because that's be what it's about it. mm -hmm. that's what that's what they tell you in hangweed it's not about keeping somebody it's like me doing the silent counseling mm -hmm. i've done a good job when somebody says i don't need silent counseling next week well. Aye, as good. much as that, what you make yourself mm -hmm. redundant, aye, because it's about fixing people and not getting people. Aye, because if somebody says, I don't need, mm -hmm. I feel so much like, better, my anxiety aye. is better. Look, like, trauma and depression should be a, a journey rather aye, than a, that, rather somewhere than a destination. Somewhere you need to for the rest aye. of it. It's like me and my pal went through similar experiences, and my pal got institutionalised and all that, mm -hmm. right? God bless her. And she's in lithium and everything. She's a fair shadow herself. She's agoraphobic. Mm -hmm. She can't go. And I blame all the medication because she aye, was aye. just like, give me it. And I'm like, no. It's numbing me. I can't feel nothing. Aye. I don't like it. I'd rather feel a cycle than feel nothing. Mm -hmm. Aye. And it's just like, even like doing the shamanic drumming and all that, like I need, it's just getting the vibration in your soul because the human body is a self healer. Mm -hmm. And I know it can't heal 
all the different toxins that's been put in the world to make us have these mm-hmm. these new viruses and everything else that we've got. But your body is self healing, mm-hmm. and if, if if first of all should let itself heal, and it's it's basically the world of Facebook and TikTok and all that is making you feel incomplete yeah, because yeah. people are putting out this perception of a happy, perfect yeah. life I and they're it, all lying. I think it's mental health. People struggling with their mental health, it's increased mm-hmm. tenfold and it's only increased since social media came mm-hmm. about. Pressures, isn't it? And it's different. It's like they need the best picture. Ah, and aye. then if it's like aye. face, it's like Instagram and reality completely different. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's peaked so bad. If you can take yourself away from that and get back to... That's what we do. I I I work with a lot of influencers that are struggling with their mental health, suicidal because all the trolling and stuff like that. We don't publicise it. We don't even shout about it. And there's about five years. We all go away. Twenty four hours. We've went to the Sammy Ling, you know, the Sammy Ling Buddhist retreat in a silent retreat where we don't talk to each other Mm -hmm. for twenty four hours. Somebody told me that. Sometimes that'd be fucking brilliant, man. Just don't talk to me. Go on, man, and smash you. Uh But honestly, <laughs> talking, just punching, man. Aye, but honestly, I swear to God, if somebody had said to me years ago, you're going to look forward to going somewhere and no talking for 24 hours, Aye. I went there and I thought first, am I going to be able to mm. see the silence and just all the Buddhist right. chants and the serenity mm-hmm. and the calmness of the camp, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's what's missing because we're all just 90 mile an hour. Yeah. I want my big car and my big fancy mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. I want my podcast to be bigger than Laird podcast. Mm-hmm. I want my free stuff. I do want you know what I, mean? I just like... want Rangers to win again. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, mate. I've done. <laughs> manifest it. Aye. It will happen again. I'll be there for it, Stephen. I'll be there for it. Four years, one league uh, they might well do, but see when it comes round about, I'm going to be back wearing the Rangers tap just to watch who's cry. I don't <laughs> know if you'll be here in a year. Oh, <laughs> Doing fat ball about hanging. But you. see, that's why Celtics hated. Who? That there. What? That <laughs> pure I don't you understand who you mean. You, the only it? difference between you and Neil Lennon is his hair colour. Right, right, <laughs> don't be slagging up the wheel, right? Do you know what I mean? Yes, that's what it's like there because he's like, oh, big kiddie and all that. Great brown, you know what I mean? Go, Neil. Go, Neil, your man. That's us. We've got eight minutes left. Aye. She wanted to sing that song you said you were going to sing. What was it? I don't you know. I, I was going to say. Country I, man. Uh-huh. You said you were going to sing his own song. No, oh, you can fuck oh, up. Yeah. Oh, if I'll wait up for a fucking hour figure, he's made me listen to country western music. Hi, Kit Moore, what's up? She singing about a big truck. Do country music, do you? I like some of it. Who Who's the new guy that you guys have seen? Zach Combs. Aye. Aye, he's good, isn't he? No, that's not even country music. That's like supporting Real Madrid if you like football. Uh, oh, man, so. Blah, 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 blah. See what I mean, Neil Lennon? Ah, he's but. a... God bless Neil Lennon. Mm-hmm. The, the only thing Neil Lennon ever brought back was cans. Brought everything else. Ah, uh, he brought a bad attitude and all, but we know. He did bring a bad attitude, <laughs> We're not about bad attitudes, we're about positivity. We're all about manifesting good vibes. And zen. Yeah, and zen. Wait, Neil, I know. Advice. So stop slagging Neil Lennon. Neil Lennon's an absolute topper. No, he's not. I met him in real life. He's a topper. Ah, he's over that noise, no. Ah, I used to be... That's because you were kissing his boots, not so I mean. I, I was staying in a hotel room. <laughs> Larson was oh. nice. I wasn't staying with him in the hotel. I was working in the hotel that he stayed in. <laughs> Larson, Larson was brand new, but Neil Lennon was a. Uh, How? He was. He just he's... entitled. Thought he was entitled. He used to go up to the airport to get. Uh, Signatures not from he'd walk in kid kid on he was on his phone and all that. Yeah. And he was on his passport. So nah, Tommy don't, Miller. <laughs> don't get don't get me wrong. Sometimes when you're sitting eating your dinner and all that and for that can I get a picture, you, you just want to tape on them. Yeah, aye. aye, but I just want to say I wouldn't be sitting in that restaurant eating mm. that if they were only paying me for, and right. asking me for pictures Quite and I always right. remember that now, but sometimes I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, as you say, up. there's eight minutes what now, you want to say. Just to see obviously what's what can we expect next for you and what's I've just wrote my own film, mm-hmm. so um, Storm to Utopia, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And it's got a God and Satan and feel in it, and it's all about good. a personal loss coming back to life, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's really good. And Rangers. I've just been... I've just been, I've just been in three films as well. Dark, right. uh, Dark Devices, Na- Nurture Nature, where I played a, a domestic violence wife. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was in a film there with Timothy Spall, The Last Bus, which oh, is really good, it's on Amazon. And I've got 14 venues, most of them, I think 10 of them are theatres next year, mm-hmm. booked for Men, Menopause and Mars Bars, being supported by Mikey Motion. Brilliant. So, oh, so far, class, man. love what, him, that's my boy. What the roast in here? Tickets go on sale, um, it should be the end of the month once I've got the full run done I'm even going to Sky 
Yeah, yeah, gig and sky, you know what I mean? So, but but how, how far are you going down the road, Greenock wise? Uh, there's one in Greenock. Right, we'll be We've got a date in Greenock. We'll I've got there. a date in Greenock um, there. So, aye, there's all happening, and Mikey Motion's my support act because I've known Mikey if he's started it. Can you see how these first burgers do you get? Aye, he came to the last night. Have you ever get him? I'm telling you, honestly, he was wild. He turned up before he, because he's clean and sober as well, and he does say that, you know what I mean? But he turned up at his first gig, still waste it, you know what I mean? Went out of his time and I hated him. So I was on after him. He's sitting there, I'm like, get him to shut up. <laughs> he's been well and he's like, what did you think in that? I says, I'd be all right if you hadn't off my time, pal. You know what I mean? And then we just, he's one of my best pals. Aye, well, we'll, we'll be, we'll, we'll come down to Greenock. Right, that's my Aye. support act. He's, and he's funny, he's even better on stage than... Oh, that's good. So good. actually, it's, I'm actually scared of taking him because I'll probably end up taking all my fans, you know what I mean? But <laughs> but is, it, is it any beacon or the town hall? I think it's a breaking. Oh, that's better, I that's think better. It's, I think that's it's in better. there. My manager's got them all. I'm sure that's cool. one of the ones, but I, it's all getting advertised that once we've got all the dates for everywhere because I've got Fife and all that as well. Mm-hmm. But it's all going well, so well let sorted. It, let us know when you've got your tickets and we'll obviously be able to do it everywhere. Do you, do you want to add it? Yeah. Aye, so good things happen to good people. So it's good to see you for where you've came aye. to where you're going, Thank selling you. these venues out, films and all that. So. Thank you very much. Very well done. And then I'll come back and put money into Rangers. And then we're going to get these bastards fucking hammered. Mm. You, why are you got to use bad words like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just football. It's just football. <laughs> For people like us, bastards, you're just used to cruising. So, it's not a bone. Right, I had it and Neil's the full finish. Aye. Eh, uh, aye, Neil. God bless Neil Lennon. <laughs> Why are you going to say bad words like that? Big thank you, eh. Uh, Uncle Brendan for coming back with the cans. Um, <laughs> massive shout out to Michael Beale for everything they've done Scottish football. Oh, um, wrap it now. <laughs> what else? Fuck what to say. That's the done, that's the time done. Oh, that. oh, <laughs> aye. No, a massive thank you to Div McGowan for everything he does, not just for a, a sponsor on our episodes. A guy is, is actually a hero of mine. I'm going to put it out there. And, I'm going to up. He, right. He's got big, massive biceps. And a tattooed hairline, supposedly. Aye. No, D, it's been absolutely brilliant. Thank what a laugh. You. So, I wish you all the Success in the future and thanks very much. Thank you. Is anyone a fish? <laughs>